A very good morning to one and all present here. We are privileged to welcome you all to today's CME on behalf of the Department of Psychiatry, Mahatma Gandhi Medical College and Research Institute and Student Salutogenesis Committee. The theme of this year's World Mental Health Day celebrated on 10th October 2023 is Mental Health is a Universal Human Right. Today's CME on addiction among health science students is being held in order to celebrate this day. We are fortunate to have with us today some distinguished speakers from the Department of Psychiatry. We would like to express our sincere gratitude to the dignitaries for gracing this occasion with their presence. This CME aims to bring to light their valuable insights and to make this an enriching experience to everyone present here. We request the honorable dignitaries to come to the dais. We request Professor Sitesh Gosar, Dean MGMCRA, SBV to come to the dais. We request Dr. Professor Srinivasan A.R. Sir and Professor Avadiyapan HOD in charge, uh, Department of Psychiatry to come to the dais. May I request everyone to please stand up for the SBV anthem. Education gives humility. Humility gives character. From character, one gets wealth. From wealth, one gets righteousness. In righteousness, there is joy. You may please take your seats. We request Professor Dr. S. Avdiya Pansar, HOD in charge, Department of Psychiatry, to deliver the welcome address. Good morning to you all. Uh, at the outset, uh, I would like to thank our esteemed Chancellor, uh, uh, Sri uh, M. K. Rajakopalan sir, for uh, allowing us to conduct this uh, CME. And uh, I would like to um, welcome our uh, Honorable uh, Vice Chancellor, uh, Dr. Professor Nehar Ranjan Biswas, sir. Uh, since he was in an urgent uh, schedule, he couldn't make up today, but he has sent his uh, felicitation for, and, uh, for us. And uh, I would like to welcome uh, Professor Sitesh Ghosh, sir, our Dean, MGMCRA. Uh, and he has been instrumental in uh, planning and organizing this uh, CME. And uh, I would like to uh, welcome uh, Professor A.R. Srinivasan, sir, uh, Registrar MGMC, uh, Registrar SBV. Uh, uh, he had been our uh, support uh, for a very long time and helped us in many of our endeavors. And uh, he has also helped us in this, in planning this endeavor also. We uh, welcome you, sir. And uh, I would like to uh, uh, welcome uh, the faculties of uh, uh, MGMCRI and uh, Allied, Allied Health Sciences uh, School of Pharmacy and uh, School uh, College of Nursing, then who have shown a um, very great interest in this CME and uh, have taken up this CME as if it is their own personal endeavor. I thank you and welcome you all to this CME. 
and the topic for this cme is uh, addiction for among uh, health science university students was chosen because uh, we wanted to highlight few of the topics which are not often discussed in the classroom so this cme serves the dual purpose of an awareness program as well as an educative uh, session for you people so i hope you would enjoy this uh, cme uh, i welcome you all to the cme thank you Thank you, sir, for your kind words. We have a special message from our HOD, Dr. Shiva Prakash, sir, who couldn't grace this occasion with his presence as he is on medical leave. We request Professor Sitesh Gosar, Dean, MGMCRI, to address the gathering. Respected dignitaries of the dais, uh, faculties from different uh, institutions, my dear students from all the constituent institute of the SBB, as rightly pointed it out that uh, I think it's a perceived uh, need that what you can say, everybody has realized that, okay, like uh, everybody is feeling whether young or adult, the mental health issues. Reason is different, different as you know, like uh, change in culture, change in stress, change in the things, what we are going through it and all these things. But at the same time, one of the reason of mental health issues is addiction. When I say the addiction is uh, the initially it was uh, it was meant only for the alcohol uh, when we are young at your stage, cigarette, all these things. But of late, the meaning of addiction has uh, has uh, broadened. Uh, the new generation addiction is uh, is new generation addiction is louder. Louder? Cell phone, right, good. Right? Okay, new generation addiction is not limited only to the substance abuse and the alcohol or anything else. Anything can be talked as an addiction. And why you are discussing about, I think these things will be will be highlighted during this program, right? Uh, and whether 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 it's a cell phone or it's a substance or is alcohol or cigarette, it has its own effect on the mental health which in terms, which in terms uh, turn your life into different directions, right? We have, we have, and especially do, why we are talking about the health science students in any way, the students different from the other science? No, it's no, right? So it's not that what you can say, students are students, whether it's a health science or or uh, other, uh, other, other branches and all these things. But why you are discussing? Because when we think of health science, I think the, uh, uh, common people or the non health uh, community they see that uh, they see you as a role model and when these things is prevalent in the health science so definitely they'll say health science people are not aware of it then how do you expect a normal com normal community or the non health those are not related to health science they'll be aware of because as you know certain things you you read in the class uh, especially in the forensic medicine in the MBBS and in other things, other year also you read about the about the substance abuses and all these things. But still, knowing these things is not good. But still, we embrace and all these things. Uh, and, uh, and 
and then what to talk about the common people so that's how what you can say i was just uh, i think in, in and especially why you are talking at the students because this is a formative stage right so if you can restrain yes there will be lot of hormonal changes peer pressure and all these things which will push you into that uh, particular uh, uh, situation but it is a it's a it's a it's a uh, test for yourself how you can restrain yourself from all these things and once you are you are able to control yourself during this phase definitely your life will be will be streamlined and you will not be uh, 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 facing this uh, problem in your uh, adult life so this this age is very important that's how what you can say they actually choose what you can say uh, the addiction among the healthcare students yes uh, uh, I, I i i am 100% sure the the people those are sitting here are not addicted to anything is it correct is it correct yes i am not able to hear that means you are also addicted right let's yes as you know like what i say we are trying to mold you i think this uh, cme uh, i am not uh, i am not telling that within few hours will be you uh, will uh, uh, the department of psychiatry or the resource person will change you overnight but at least at least they can create some awareness suppose you are they will show you that what you can say you are in the right path or in the wrong path suppose you are right path yes continue to be in the right path if you are wrong path then educate yourself sensitize yourself not only educate yourself this is an opportunity to learn and the educate others also right so i wish this cme will be very useful for this uh, audience and uh, i hope uh, people will interact as much as possible it should not it, it should not be a didactic lecture so that at the end of the day it will be useful for for you people also so that what you can say uh, in long term i think i think we'll get one or two ambassador uh, for the our own 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 community who can vouch for all these things whenever because as you know like uh, uh, even if we conduct lot of uh, anti narcotic uh, drive and all these things it never works unless the unless unless it comes from the student only so i wish this cme a great success and hopefully it will be useful for you thank you thank you sir for your kind words we now request professor avadiyappan sir to facilitate professor sitesh go sir We request Professor Shinivasan Yasa, Register MGMCRI, to address the gathering. A very good morning. Most Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, in his absence, respected Dean of MGMCRI, Professor Sitesh Gur, and uh, my beloved uh, Dr. Aude Yupan, the vibrant uh, head of the psychiatry department, Dr. Bimal, Dr. Karthikeyan, Dr. Vignesh, all the eminent faculty members drawn from the various constant units, eminent resource persons, I think, who have chosen uh, to take time off from the busy schedule to talk on a very pertinent topic, especially actually the, MD, the addiction among health science students. Well, I think this is a very good uh, gesture on part of the Department of Psychiatry as well as the Salutogenesis Committee for having embarked on a very important and pertinent topic, especially because of the fact that on a global level, right from the WHO, that is World Health Organization, actually with the ASSIST project, isn't it? The ASSIST project has been creating a lot of waves world over, where, which talks about the alcohol smoking, substance involvement, and the, what are the screening tests and modalities available. Our own government of India has been really toiling well under the Ministry of Health and also the Ministry of uh, Social Welfare and uh, Empowerment. A lot of good work actually has been done on the national level. If it has to percolate it, I think endeavors such as the one that is promoted by the Department of Psychiatry, MGMCRI, in association with Salutus and his committee, I think that will go a, a long way. I think we need to really applaud the Department of Psychiatry and Salutus and his committee for having do, done that. And just for the benefit of the learners here, you must be wondering, what is this Salutus Well, Salutus is all about wellness. 
isn't it? Have you heard of this term cellulogenesis before? Instead of talking actually or viewing from the pathogenesis point of view, you just approach from the health or the well-being part of it. Actually, there are two great stalwarts at the turn of the last century, Aaron Antonovsky and also Travis. Many of you know, and I think uh, Prahasar will be knowing because he is an eminent MPH person, a uh, very accomplished uh, American physician and also writer, where he talks about the ability of the connection here. The connection actually is very, very important here because as Dr. Sitesh Ghosh has rightly pointed out, though there are a lot of varying features associated whether addiction is by choice or not by choice, uh, the psychiatrists and the psychosocial ex experts will agree that it can be either through choice or it can also be well, anyone can fall prey to this addiction. But when it happens, then the stigma, that is some, something actually which is very, very alarming. I think this is where the salutogenesis wellness component come as it has been propagated by Aaron Antonovsky, the father of salutogenesis. What he says actually is as long as we are aware of the terminology, sense of coherence, capacity to understand actually the comprehensibility, the, you understand the situation in which we have, then you accomplish it through manageability, then you it will have meaningfulness. This is actually the sense of coherence. When the sense of coherence actually, the balance of the equalize prevails, all of us actually will be in the state of wellness. This is where the role of psychiatrists as well as the sociologists and the psychologists come into actually a tripartite agreement here. With the inputs actually from health science universities here, I am quite sure we will be able to do all those things in order that we can decrease the prevalence. It's very, very alarming as per a study which has been reported in the NLM, nearly 20 to 40% actually of the health science, especially medical students are prey to it. This is very, very alarming, isn't it? Especially as Dr. Go said, the respected dean has rightly told, when we being in the purview of health science, when we cannot show the way to the society, who will show, isn't it? It is really alarming. I think it's, I, I am not say, using the word, the strong word, we should feel ashamed, but at least we should feel alarmed actually, and then ensure that we take effective steps. So I think this particular CME, which is fostered by the eminent resource persons at the behest of the salute committee, as well as the psychiatry will give you a lot of inputs. And as Dr. Ghosh sir has rightly told, at the end of the day, let's all of us become actually much more wiser so that we can spread the message that addiction is bad, but we don't attach any stigma. You come and approach us actually, we'll be in a position actually to resolve that. So on that note, we wish the CME Great success. May God bless you all. A special thanks to the eminent resource persons for having taken time off. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your kind words. We request Professor Dr. Avdia sir, to felicitate Professor Srinivasaniya, sir. We have a special message from our HOD, Dr. Shiva Prakash, sir, who couldn't grace this occasion. The mind is a product of the brain. Mental health and well-being are thus profoundly connected to brain health. Throughout one's lifespan, brain health and thus mental health are constantly shaped by interactions between one's genes and the environment. The World Health Organization emphasizes that mental health is an integral part of health. Indeed, there is no health without mental health. Mental health is a universal human right. This is the theme of World Mental Health Day 2023. Warm greetings to all. Welcome to this CME on addiction among health science students. This program is being conducted by the Department of Psychiatry, MGMCRI, Shibalaji Vidyapeet, in collaboration with our students' salutogenesis committee as a part of the World Mental Health Day celebrations 2023. This is indeed a proud moment for the department. 
congratulations to dr avdeepan dr vimal and all members of our splendid team sincere thanks to our administration and our eminent resource persons best wishes for the success of this event thank you sir our honorable vice chancellor professor niha ranjan biswas has given a special message for the gathering as sir couldn't be here due to his busy schedule we request dr karthik sir associate professor department of psychiatry mgm cri to deliver the message thank you so this is the message we received from vc sir good morning vanakkam on behalf of founder chancellor shri mk rajagopalan and on my personal behalf i congratulate the department of psychiatry mgm cri and student saltogenesis committee to organize the one day cme on addiction among health science students during world mental health day 2023 on 26th october 2023 thank you very much dr arul verman associate professor of psychiatry and hod igm cri dr john dinesh professor and hod avmc dr arun selvaraj professor and hod sri manakula medical college and dr madan professor sri venkateswara medical college puducherry for delivering the lectures on very important topic particularly for sbv students and the faculties it is really a matter of great concern when it is discovered that a section of students are addicted to cannabis and other substances of abuse their de addiction is very difficult unless it is stopped at the early stage one is addiction to smartphone of the students it is not only causing problems to the eyes but also the performance in college education it is getting abruptly deteriorated best option is to create awareness among the students and the effects of these habits so that they can help each other world mental health day is being celebrated since 1992 jointly by world federation of mental health and who every year we celebrate to spread the awareness and to remove stigma and discrimination in the society every year there is a specific theme this year it is mental health is universal human right our mind our right we are trying to make people empower and make them understand about the importance of mental health and also to claim it as an universal right still we keep mental health on the fence and we keep on discussing only physical health it has been mentioned few years back by who and also lots of articles on no health without mental health considering the significant contribution by the mental illnesses in the overall disability it is pertinent to put our money on this the national mental health survey by nimhans in 2015-16 underlines the magnitude of mental illness and also the huge treatment gap of around 90 percentage we have to understand the mental health on a spectrum from small sub threshold illnesses to severe mental disorders like schizophrenia and bipolar disorder the new area of behavioral addictions also needs mention besides chemical addiction like mobile addiction and sexual addiction doctors are not immune to these rather we are more vulnerable because of our working conditions we have to screen our young medical students for these to prevent it from taking a bigger shape let's make a pledge no health without mental health my best wishes for successful cme nandri thank you sir we request dr p vimalnadan sir assistant professor department of psychiatry mgm cri to deliver the vote of thanks yeah breezy good morning to everyone so i'll start with tirukural actually kalakthina seidanandri siridhanum manathin gnana mana peridu so which means a timely help though small is of greater value than all the air so i dr mimal adan organizer secretary of this event mgm cri and the entire sbb family extend my most sincere thanks to the uh, everyone who present here so i on behalf of the organizing committee so can be deep regards and hearty thanks to our founder and the honorable chancellor sri mk rajagopalan sir for always supporting and encouraging us i'd like to express my deep sense of gratitude to our honorable, honorable vice chancellor professor niga ranjan biswas sir for his constant support and guidance i'd like to thank professor a r strinivasan sir a uh, registrar of sbv for his constant support and his presence and his kind words thank you sir so i also thank my uh, extend my uh, gratitude towards our advisory committee dr sitesh goshar dean uh, mgm sir and dr kannan sir vice principal student affairs 
they helped us in obtaining all the necessary administrative approval for the organizing this event they always supported and motivated in all manners to make this cme successful so thank you sir i would like to thank our beloved head, head of our department dr shiva prakash sir for his uh, motivation guidance and his uh, teaching so we'll ever remain grateful to you sir i would like to thank our head of the department in charge or and our organizing chairman dr avadipan sir for his constant help and guidance thank you sir and i like to thank all our sbb constant college principals and head of the departments and uh, their uh, for supporting us and encouraging us uh, for conducting this uh, cmes thank you thank you i would like to thank all the honorable delegates uh, who are sitting here from faculties to students uh, of various disciplines uh, who showed great interest in participating in this uh, world mental day activities since the day one actually so thank you everyone and uh, my sincere thanks to all the speakers actually who uh, in their busy schedule accepted our invitations and uh, they are willing to i mean deliver their the presentations so thank you sir and my finally my sincere thanks to my team members uh, including my department faculties post graduate crri social workers psychology like staff members for taking responsibility and done an immense work uh, uh, to successfully conduct this conference so thank you everyone and i also uh, thank all the supporting staff from all the mgm sir cadres Uh, thank for supporting us. So with this, uh, remain. Thank you, thank you, everyone. So we can start our scientific session now. Here, sir. Thank you, sir. We now request the dignitaries to proceed towards the gallery. We are now going to start our academic session. I request Dr. Karthik sir, Associate Professor, to introduce the first speaker of the day. Thank you. Uh, for us, uh, for the first session, we have Dr. Arulman, Associate Professor of Psychiatry in IGMCR, and he is the head of the department there. Sir has finished his MBBS from Tanjore Medical College in two thousand one. and he finished his md in psychiatry from jipmer in 2010 sir has active memberships in executive committees of various state level and regional level psychiatric societies and sir is also an active resource person for various nmhp related activities in town and out of the town sir is the member secretary for state mental health authority puducherry and uh, sir has published over 10 research papers in various national and international journals thank you with this brief introduction i welcome sir for the session thank good morning all the first point uh, what other people told is the important point that we are not immune to this addiction being a health science students actually we are more vulnerable than other students other stream of students like engineering or arts college students it is not new one because when i studied in tanjore medical college many of the patients and patient attender they used to see our seniors and colleagues who used to smoke in the tea stall you know what they tell doctor andukite da madichittirukanga so health science students not only doctors mbbs doctors but also nurses and other paramedical workers we know it is not healthy but still we are doing that is a problem because if other stream of students other people are doing they won't bother about it the same t stall many people will be there 
if they smoke they won't bother photo photo if you are smoking if you are using the substance then the public will see us so it's more of a crime that is the reason we have been invited to talk the second point is what are i am going to tell all the faculty members of uh, mgm sri they know it they know more than us so as our dean sir pointed out it is not just this hour or this day you are not going to change it this just an eye opener so that those who are not using the substance they can continue with the same lifestyle and those started using it they can seek help that is very important we have wonderful faculty members all are my friends only dr raudi kansar vimal kartik all that you can approach them at any point of time and they will help you to come out from this important health as well as social problem so i would like to ask any one or few people what do you know about addiction before i proceed to any one any student or shall i ask any one yes ma'am please what do you know about addiction okay these are all types of addictions okay so anything that okay no problem we can uh, tell in tamil also it's a vernacular language because the idea is you should understand that is the important thing romba adha addict na enna romba pala moonu vela saapalla 10 vela saapada mudiyadha le okay overuse okay overuse which is harmful to the health appo andha vela idhavara matha vela velai paaka mudiyadha mari aagida kudadu very good okay please anyone from that side sir what do you know about addiction whatever you know just tell me okay that i have been told anything sir anything new why people are getting addicted it is not that uh, all who start smoking or all who start drinking they are not going to get addicted isn't it see if you take see in this hall okay so 10% 10 to 20 percent they say they are using some substance either nicotine or alcohol so at the end of the five years or 10 years only few people are using it okay regularly or in such a way addicted not all any reasons okay right we'll discuss all these things okay so just we want to tap your level of awareness there are some technical terms as dr uh, professor avadai pansar said it serves both purposes one is as a cme continuous medical education second is an awareness program so it's an amalgamation of two so i have to use some technical terms also i will try to keep it very simple there is first world call addiction is more of a layman term what we are using common usage but there is a technical term called dependence in which the other technical term is harmful use we always teach very simple things right h for health h for harmful use see if you are drinking alcohol say for example alcohol you are you will get most commonly what you will get commonly hmm? what people used to go to kangrambalayam and get the treatment and again they will drink jaundice isn't it so because of alcohol they will get jaundice 
but once jaundice is cured the person will not stop he will go back again and drink even though he know that the jaundice is due to alcohol understand then it is called harmful use harmful use is using the substance whatever it is smoking you are smoking you develop pneumonia or copd it causes lung trouble you are getting admitted getting treated come back one month two months he is not smoking again he started smoking then it is called harmful use so harmful use is i want you to answer harmful use is persistent use in spite of health problems okay right abuse is another thing any academic or occupational or social or legal problems okay so say for example this topic is mine is more of cannabis person using cannabis the next day he is not able to come to the college he is not able to read he is failing in the examination okay professor sir are calling what man what you are doing no sir padikka mudiyala bore adikkudhu tired ah irukku but he is hiding the real truth he is not using the substance and because of the substance he is not able to read he is not able to complete he is not able to pass the examination he is not able to mingle with other people he is not able to participate in the games cricket lord var now he is not playing that previously he used to have some hobbies he is not participating participating then it is called abuse because of the substance he is having these problems academic problem occupation problem legal problem you know drunken driving seringla so because of this but still he is continually using that's called abuse there is something called risky use so i told you drunken driving is if you are drinking and lying down that's okay but if you are drinking and driving then it is you are putting yourself at risk and also do a work taking down that is the common term addict use so dependent means encompasses all the person using the substance by harmful use abuse and then dependence so we'll come to the later again we have two problems we have at hand one is called substance use disorders that's what addiction and substance induced disorder why i am mentioning here specifically because the topic is cannabis i will tell you the story it is a, not a story it is actually event happened true event when i was studying pg in jipmer one person got admitted he was from tiruvannamalai 40 year old male married having two kids he was having hallucinations auditory hallucinations kaadhal ara pesuranga yaar pesuranga sivan pesar paravalle unakku la sivan pesar ena kekkamaatenga so he is telling so he broke all the household items veetla ella porulaiyum odachitan tv remote all gali because he is telling this hallucination then we started ஜூனியர் வந்து சார் சிசோஃபினியா சார் ஆன்டி சைக்காட்டிக் ஓகே அக்செப்டட் சிசோஃபினியா ஓகே ரைட் பட் ஏன் வந்துச்சு ஒய் ஸோ ஏன் என்ற கேள்வி எப்போதும் கேட்கணும்ல ஆல்வேஸ் ஆஸ்க் ஒய் தென் வி என்கொயர்ட் என்கொயர்ட் ஆகி யூ நோ வேர் இட் இஸ் கல்டிவேட்டட் திருவண்ணாமலை இஸ் நோட்டோரியஸ் ஏரியா இந்த இன்னண்ட் அவுண்ட் பாக்கெட்ஸ் வேற கனாபிஸ் இஸ் கல்டிவேட்டட் ஸோ ஹி வாஸ் எ கிரானிக் கனாபிஸ் யூ சார் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் த கனாபிஸ் யூஸ் ஸோ ஹீ ஸ்டார்டட் ஹேவ் இன் தி சைக்கோட்டிஸ் நம்மனா so remember if he is not using the cannabis he would be normal person he would not have gone into psychosis so for any ayurveda theviye kedaiyadu why he is getting admitted in jipmer because he used cannabis he developed auditory hallucination he broke all the household items he was brought by the police and he was admitted in jipmer you understand so idu endu solvaangala thiruvura pola onaana malil eduthu potukra mari that is a problem here so substance abuse means or any other abuse is very important because nobody is paying you i used to tell my d addiction korvaangala nobody is pulling you to the wine shop saraka vaangi kuduthu they are not giving money you are going you are spending from your pocket you are buying the saraka and west side dish and you are putting sand on your head it is applicable to all மத்தெல்லாம் நம்மளே மனவரை போட்டுக்கிறோம் செய்யலாமா ஸோ கொஞ்சமாச்சும் இருக்கணும்னு சொல்லுவாங்க இட் இஸ் நாட் பி டூ மச் ஓகே பட் 
என்ன பிரச்சனைன்னா ஐம் டெல்லிங் வை தீஸ் பீப்புள் ஆர் யூசிங் ஸோ சின்ஸ் தே ஹவ் இன்க்ளூடட் ஆல் நியூ சப்ஸ்டன்சஸ் ஆல்சோ இட் இஸ் மை டியூட்டி டு ஜஸ்ட் கிவ் அன் ஓவர் வியூ ஆஃப் த சப்ஸ்டன்சஸ் ஸோ நிக்கோட்டின் யூ நோ வெரி வெல் கேன் பி சிகரெட் கூக்கா வாட் எவர் ஃபார்ம்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் தேர் இஸ் ஒன் திங் ஸ்மால் திங்ஸ் தர் யூ நோ தர் கூல் யூ நோ மெனி ஸ்கூல் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் பீங் ப்ராட் டு அஸ் it was started in chennai koyambatur madurai and pondicherry also so all the metropolitan cities affected by this cool lip unnum kedaiyadhu nama vicks mithai maradha irukum seringala mouth freshener what is that it is not vicks mithai it is nicotine based how many of you used okay nobody will open how many of you seen that people are using your family members or friends neighbors adu pakkathu thaan use panna nam kandipa solluvom Are you using it? Are you using it? Yes. So he is agreeing. So it is not a rare phenomenon. That is what I am telling. It is not a rare. Sir, why are you using it? It is not a rare. People are using. Students are using. School students are using. College students are using. Right in front of our eyes. So nicotine. New year, new year drugs. New year substance. New year substance. In, uh, old substance in new year forms. Same nicotine. பட் கூல் லிப் பிரச்சனை அவனு கிடையாது நமக்கு தான் சரியா தென் தப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் யூனோ வெரி வெல் ஆல்கஹால் ஸோ எத்தேல் ஆல்கால் யூனோ மெத்தேல் ஆல்கால் அடல் ரேட்டட் ஓகே ஸோ யூனோ தெர் இஸ் எ ஜோக் நான் ரீசெண்ட்லி இன் விழுப்புரம் மெடிக்கல் சம் பீப்புள் காட் அட்மிட்டட் அண்ட் சம் ஆஃப் தம் எக்ஸ்பயர்ட் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஓகே ஸோ அடல் ரேட்டட் தென் செடேட்டிவ் ஹிப்னாட்டிக்ஸ் sleeping tablets it is common thing it is very common among health professionals and also their family members i know if i prescribe ama clonazepam 0.5 mg daily night one put to nga two months only then gradually try to reduce whatever we do they will do opposite sir one put a thukam varala two three four five like that keep on increasing so that is also very common form of abuse and uh, our fellows no psychiatrist kudunga mathavangal illa adringa sari aidum paathukunga adhe mari mathavangal ellarume because they don't know the implications of the sedative hypnotic abuse opiates you know very well morphine heroin okay and fentanyl sodium all these things inhalants i'm just giving you substances which are abused commonly i'm just going to overview before going to the cannabis there was one place called kandamangalam okay where uh, nearby there is an graveyard was there the police inspector caught some few people and uh, came to me sir ana pandranga na these fellows are stealing petrol so the crime was stealing petrol when we asked edhukku saikarana petrol ku enna pandran then he asked petrol 3d vikkiradilla sir they are sniffing it petrol sniffing and they are taking it along with this tire plastic covers burn money and the smell or they are putting all these things it was very notorious that area that vilupuram and that madagadipatti area you know who people are doing our this some engineering college students so i am telling it's not rare and all it is happening inhalants use thinners okay paint all these things then you know hallucinogens magic mushrooms ketamine all these things because these are all available to us why we are at risk recently uh one incident happened the one anesthesia doctor was caught in jipmer prestige institute jipmer because he is taking the ketamine and selling it to other people in university pandit university people and they are giving cannabis to him so this we both got arrested what i'm telling is we are exposed we are accessible to these things stimulants okay amphetamine this cocaine all these are stimulants now coming to the my topic cannabis cannabis you know simple plant okay ganja chedi seringla thota thoyila sir evaru valagranga illaya andha maari dhaan Any of you have seen this chedi, the plant? 
How many of you have seen that plant? Nobody has seen the plant in person. Ganja Chedi, you haven't seen it, right? How do you know that? Okay. Good. So, we have all the ingredients coming from that plant only. Hmm? So, we have <coughs> flowers, all these birds, roots, shoot, everything will be used for. Of course, it has some good things. That's why I am telling. Maybe the topic is very important. Cannabis, its medical uses are there. So we can use it. People are telling. Some of the non-psychiatric friends are saying, That's not true, sir. Cannabis oil is good. It's good. But if you start using it, abusing it, you will have a lot of health problems. You will become full-blown schizophrenia, psychosis. You want it. So that's a problem here. So we have buds, the flower buds, marijuana, we call it as resin, hashish, then oil, hemp oil, we call it as. So it can be used anyway. Right? The basic active ingredient being a CME, I would tell this also. There are two important things are that tetrahydrocannabinol, that is THC, is the active ingredient. Main, the second is CBD. Okay, cannabinoidiol is the second one. A brief Pharmacokinetics. This THC is metabolized in the liver. Whatever forms, there are different forms are there. Inhalation, ingestion, we'll talk about it. So, whatever forms you take it, everything is to be metabolized by the liver, by that enzymes. Okay. Sip enzymes. Then it is active metabolites and inactive metabolites. Then CBD is hydroxylated and excreted either intact or as a inactive metabolite, gluconate conjugates. 65% of this cannabis is excreted in the feces and approximately 20% in the urine. Around 80 to 90% of this excreted within 5 days. Okay. Either hydroxylated or carboxylated forms. Just to know this. Being a professional, medical professionals. And the bioavailability is very important. It depends on the route of intake. Either we are inhaling it or ingesting it or topical application. Okay. So it differs. Inhalation is the most uh, florid uh, bioavailability. It's the highest bioavailability, 45%. Okay, mean percent is 31%. Okay. They have hypophilic, sorry, the lipophilic. They're high lipophilic. It means it goes to the brain, adipose tissue fast. Okay, it affects are very quick. And the off life of TAC is one to three days, and CBD is about three days, uh, around two days, we can say, one and a half days, half of it. Which means the effect will be long lasting. So it is fast and the effect will be long lasting. That is very important. Now you would say, cannabis, okay, sir. Why are you using? Why, uh, it is actually illegal drug. But still, there are sir, many products which are uh, legalized. Why it is there? Being a health science student, you must be knowing about what is called endocannabinoid system. The cannabis receptors are within our body. It is there in our body. Not only the brain, but also other areas. Okay, skeletal muscle, heart, kidney, thyroid, it most all the areas of the body, many organs in the body. Basically, it is present in both sides, presynaptic as well as postsynaptic neurons. Okay, in both sides. It regulates these hormones or chemicals or molecules, serotonin, dopamine, all these things, in such a way, it gives some good effects. That I agree with it. It is the point. Because I am seeing medical students, they are using it. No, they are telling this reason. Endocannabis system come here. You do use cannabis. That will be helpful us. It is healthy man. Professor That's what our people are telling. Okay. It has good functions. Okay. I agree with the point. But what is more important is side effects. It has both immediate side effects as well as long-term side effects. Immediate side effects, we have this loss of coordination, okay, tachycardia. It affects almost all the organs. Okay. If you take heart, it causes tachycardia and precipitate heart attack. And if you are smoking, inhaling it, infection, okay, CA risk is there. And main thing is impaired cognition, memory, and coordination, higher mental functions will be lost. 
which means we will not able to study even if you study you are not able to remember even if you are able to remember you cannot write it down in the examination so examination puttukom seringala that is very important you are not able to read and pass in the examination pass avanum ana ma pass avanum na cannabis panna kudadu and most importantly you will develop some positive symptoms negative symptoms called psychosis okay so it acts on the almost all areas of the brain okay cerebral cortex impairs the memory hypothalamus impairs the memory cerebellum it damages the cerebellum leading to incoordination okay it uh, impairs the hippocampus where the memory is stored you will not able to recollect sir na nariya padichen sir mudinju pochi sila pasinga irupanga cannabis adichittu padipanga appo naabam irukum but exam time la morandu poirum because cannabis acts on the uh, hippocampus where it disrupts the memory storation and amygdala that is why the people are behaving very odd emotions will dysregulate if you take ut bandala or some new channels will be there it almost like tirunamalai or vilupuram after cannabis they were hitting they created a huge public nuisance okay they were uh, uh, creating problem with the pa fellow passengers in the bus and all it created so this is what because of this amygdala okay there will be rag will be there emotions so it'll be like psycho like that having said this is applicable to all i mean all substances all people it is there why these people are using so what is the criteria for it it is not that all are addicted when you say addiction there are some criteria is there that's what i expected first and foremost is craving there is intense desire should be there addiction nu sonna na modala and the mind la substance odite irukanum then if you are want to use it there should not be any control it either internal or external control mainly internal control your friend is calling you enpa ungala koopura nu vechukonga va boy thamma adichula enna pannuva nee ungala dhaan pa paravalla va adi காசு நீ கூட நான் அடிக்கிறேன் பையா என்ட கையில் காசு இல்லை இஃப் யூ ஆர் கிவிங் மணி ஐ இல்ல இல்ல ஐ ஓன்ட் கம் யூ ஆல்சோ டோன்ட் கோ அப்படின்னா தட் இஸ் கண்ட்ரோல் பிரேக் இல்லாத வண்டி தட்ஸ் வாட் ஹேப்பனிங் சரி ஏதோ ஒரு தவறு பண்ணிட்டோம் சம்திங் தேர் டூயிங் சம் மிஸ்டேக் தேர் டூயிங் பட் எகைன் அண்ட் எகைன் அண்ட் எகைன் யூ சிங் ஏ வேணாண்டா கஷ்டம் வேணா வேணா ஐயோ போன தடவை வந்து அந்த கனாபிஸ் யூஸ் பண்ணதுக்கு ரொம்ப கஷ்டமா இருக்குது அஞ்சு அடிச்சு இன்னைக்கு வரையும் அவ்வளோதான் இனிமேல் ஜென்மத்துக்கும் யூஸ் பண்ணக்கூடாது தன் இட் இஸ் குட் இல்லை பரவாயில்ல வில் யூஸ் இட் பரவாயில்ல யூஸ் பண்ணிக்கலாம் ஸோ எகைன் அண்ட் எகைன் யூஸிங் வித்தவுட் எனி கண்ட்ரோல் அதான் பிரேக் இல்லாத வண்டி பிரேக் இல்லாத வண்டி வாட் வில் ஹேப்பன் அதுவும் நம்ம கடலூரில் பிரேக் இருந்தாலே உடையும் பிரேக் இல்லாத வண்டி போய் டங்காலிங்கன்னு இடிக்க வேண்டியதான் ஸோ ஆக்சிடென்ட்ஸ் இஸ் த ரிசல்ட் தட் இஸ் ஹவு த அவர் ஹெல்த் வில் கீல் அஃபெக்டட் நோ கண்ட்ரோல் And tolerance. You said it again, especially with alcohol. Sir, if you want to do it, study it. That means he is able to tolerate more and more amount of alcohol. That is a sign of addiction. The particular person is addicted. He is not healthy. And more importantly, if he stop that particular substance, he will develop withdrawal symptoms. If alcohol is not alcohol, withdrawal. Sir, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. What these people will tell? Sir, you can't do it. Sir, you can't do it. Sir, you can't do it. அடப்பா எங்களுக்கு தான் நடக்குது தானே பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் ஆல்கஹால் ஓன்லி யூ ஆர் கெட்டிங் ட்ரமர்ஸ் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் த கனாபிஸ் யூஸ் ஓன்லி யூ ஆர் கெட்டிங் திஸ் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் யூ ஆர் கெட்டிங் ஹார்ட் ரேட் யூ ஆர் கெட்டிங் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் ஸோ இட் இஸ் நாட் த வித்ரா இட்ஸ் நாட் அ ப்ராப்ளம் ஸ்லீப் சார் தூக்குத்துக்காக அடிக்கிறேன் நம்மள நான் சரக்கடிச்சா தூங்குறோம் ஸோ எனி ப்ராப்ளம் த சொல்யூஷன் இஸ் நாட் சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் அப்யூஸ் வாட் எவர் மே பி தியர் சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் கனாபிஸ் ஆர் நிகோட்டின் சார் ரொம்ப ஸ்ட்ரெஸ்ஸாக இருக்கு சில பேர் போகிறாங்க பாத்ரூம் வர மாட்டேங்குது நான் போய் தமிழ் சொந்தம் ஏன் வாக்கிங் போக வேண்டியதானே காமன் திங் காமன் எக்ஸ்கியூஸ் காலைல போயிட்டு ஒரு தம் அடிச்சா தான் வந்து டீ அடிச்சு தம் அடிச்சா தான் வந்து பாத்ரூம் வருது வாக்கிங் போக வேண்டியதானே ஸ்கால் பாசிட்டிவ் கோப்பிங் ஸ்கில்ஸ் ஸோ திஸ் வித் ட்ராவல் ஸோ ஹார்ம்ஃபுல் யூஸ் அப்யூஸ் ஐ டோல்ட் யூ ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் வாட் டிபெண்டன்ஸ் எ பர்சன் ஹூ இஸ் ஃபுல்ஃபில்லிங் த கிரைடீரியா கிரேவிங் கண்ட்ரோலில் டாலரன்ஸ் வித் ட்ராவல் ஹார்ம்ஃபுல் யூஸ் அப்யூஸ் தென் இஸ் டிபெண்டன்ஸ் ஒய் இஸ் யூசிங் சார் டோல் ஃப்ரம் சான்ஸ் ஆர் சாய்ஸ் டு த கம்பல்ஷன் ஹவு திஸ் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் 
இனிஷியலி வி ஆர் யூசிங் ஃபார் டூ திங்ஸ் ஒன்று ப்ளஷர் ஆர் பெயின் ரெண்டே ரெண்டு தான் சரியா ப்ளஷர் ஏ தம் அடிக்கலாம் அல்லது ஸ்கனா பேஸ் வாட் எவர் சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் சரக்கு வாட் எவர் சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் ஃபார் ப்ளஷர் சென்சேஷன் சிக்கிங் வி ஆர் யூசிங் ஆனால் இட் சுட் ஸ்டாப் தேர் இட் செல்ஃப் பட் வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் வி ஆர் கீப் ஆர் யூசிங் யூசிங் ப்ளஷர் லக்ஸுரி ஹேஸ் நோ ஏன்ஸ் பாபா திருப்பி 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 அதை யூஸ் பண்ணிட்டே இருப்போம் பிகம் அடிக்டட் ஆர் பெயின் என்ன பெயின் இன்டர்பர்சனல் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் ஃபேமிலி கூட ப்ராப்ளம் ஆர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் கூட ப்ராப்ளம் ஆர் படிக்கிறது கஷ்டமாக இருக்கு ஸோ தீஸ் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் வில் புஷ் யூ டு த சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் அப்யூஸ் பட் தே ஆர் சொல்யூஷன்ஸ் இல்லை தே ஆர் நாட் சொல்யூஷன் ரேதர் த சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் அப்யூஸ் இட் செல்ஃப் இப் யூ பிக் ப்ராப்ளம் விச் இஸ் நாட் கோயிங் டு கிவ் யூ ப்ளஷர் அண்ட் விச் இஸ் நாட் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் யுவர் பெயின் பர்மனன்ட்லி ஒரு டெம்பரரி அவ்வளோதான் தென் பீப்புள் பிகம் டாலரண்ட் they are using it and because of the withdrawal they are using it that's why i'm telling you no sir sara kadikama thookam varamaatinga sir ellarum sara kadichita thoonguranga illa illa because of the excessive alcohol use because he is addicted to alcohol he is not getting sleep because of he is addicted to alcohol he is getting tremors so the treatment is not alcohol but the tablets for it or the other treatment for it the lapse is relapse very important A person who is trying to stop substances the rule is mostly they will stop but the chance is again is there always so our psychiatric faculty we know oru thara nipati aachi abadina and it's not the thing you have to follow up yes sir nana nipati one month i am sober i am not doing the substance no there is every chance that particular person the addict will go into again use the substance so that is a problem that is why we want at least 6 months follow up why i am telling if you are addicted to any substance or using some substance whatever it is or you know someone is using it you should tell them that at least 6 months we should be under the follow up if you are coming for treatment to tide over the crisis okay to come out for the addiction so d addiction program is there so why particular patient particular persons are getting addicted genetics you know very well seringla father is using alcohol son is using alcohol more than that appa vandu sarakadi sethe poi irpaaru irundhalum he will be using alcohol paravalla sir avaru dhaan sethar enakku onnu agadhu that is a false sense of superiority avaru vandu small country like ready par sir na ipodu whiskey brand na adipen onnu agadhu the problem is the traits are inherited what are the traits are inherited it is the impulse controlability and if the father is or other people are having substance abuse or mood disorder or personality disorder then we are at risk then some personality traits what is important impulse control if i want to do something onnum kedaiyadhu i'll just give an example the road a cross pananum how will you cross the road how will you cross the road sir road a cross pananum eppadi cross panuvinga just by walk neenga da அது தெரியும் பின்ன பறந்தா போவோம் எப்படி போவீங்க என்னங்க யூ சி வெரி குட் வெரி குட் யூ சி போத் சைட்ஸ் இந்த பக்கம் அந்த பார்க்குறீங்க இந்த பக்கம் பஸ் வருதா பைக் வருதா இந்த பக்கம் வருதா பார்த்து கிராஸ் பண்ணுவோம் பண்ணுவோமா இல்லையா ரைட் பட் ஒய் யூ ஆர் நாட் திங்கிங் வென் யூ ஆர் யூசிங் சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் இஃப் யூஆர் சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் டேக் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஸ்மோக் ஆர் ட்ரிங்க்ஸ் இதனால் நமக்கு நல்லதா கெட்டதா பாத்து செய்யறமா பரவால்ல அடிக்கலாம் if you are not seeing this side and that side of the road if you are crossing it what will happen accident accident may or may not happen accident ai kai kal polam or you, you might lose your life also the same thing here same principle doubt think the pros and cons i am using substance cannabis adikiran jaliya da irukke pasangaloda jaliya irukku but it is going to spoil my brain spoil my mind i am going to be a psychiatric patient i am not able to read i am not able to complete the studies it is spoiling my family reputation is going to spoil the money also pocket money poidum addict aiduven yosikira pannuvuma pannuvuma panna matama we won't do that same thing impulse control that impulse control should not be there sensation seeking onnum kedaiyadhu ஏதாப்பில் கூப்பிட்றான் ஏய் வாடா வாடா சீக்கிரம் வாடா போயிடுவீங்களா 
பார்க்காத போயிருவீங்களா சேம் திங் சென்சேஷன் சீக்கிங் இந்த சென்சேஷன் சீக்கிங் பரவாயில்ல ஜாலியா இருக்கு பட் த சேம் டைம் இட் இஸ் காசிங் த ப்ராப்ளம் தென் யூ நோட் யூஸ் தி சேம் எக்ஸாம்பிள் கிராசிங் த ரோட் எக்ஸாம்பிள் நாம வச்சுக்கோங்க சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் அப்யூஸ் தென் ஆன்சைட்டி மெயின் ஆகுமோ ஏதாகுமோ பரிச்சையில் ஃபெயில் ஆகிடுவோமோ போய் ரெண்டு தம் அடிச்சிடலாம் ரெண்டு தம் அடிச்சா வந்து உடம்பு தான் கெடுதல் ஆகும் பரிச்சையில் பாஸ் ஆக மாட்டோம் டிப்ரெஷன் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் இன்டர் பர்சனல் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் ஸோ மெனி திங்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் அவன் என்கிட்ட பேசலை எனக்கு கஷ்டமாக இருக்குது அதனால் நான் சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் அப்யூஸ் பண்ணுறேன் தட்ஸ் நாட் கோயிண்ட் சால்வ் த ப்ராப்ளம் இஃப் யூ ஆர் ஹேவிங் எனி ப்ராப்ளம் வித் இன்டர் பர்சனல் ரிலேஷன்ஷிப்ஸ் யூ டாக் வித் தம் உங்கள் ஃப்ரெண்டு பேசலையா பேசுங்க உங்களுடைய அப்பா அம்மா பேசலையா பேசுங்க வாட் இஸ் அ ப்ராப்ளம் இஃப் மிஸ்டேக் ஆன் யுவர் சைட் அக்செப்ட் இட் கிரேஸ்ஃபுல்லி ஆமாம் எமனா தப்பு இல்லை அவங்க சைட் தப்பு இருக்கா ஏ இல்லைப்பா என் மேலே தப்பு கிடையாது உன் மேலே தான் தப்பு இல்லை சொல்லவே முடியலையா அட்லீஸ்ட் ரைட்டிங் புடிட் ஏ மெசேஜ் ஸோ தட் இஸ் கவ் டு சால்வ் த ப்ராப்ளம் ஸோ சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் அப்யூஸ் இஸ் நாட் த சொல்யூஷன் ஃபார் எனி ப்ராப்ளம் அப்புறம் தான் வருது முக்கியமானது என்வென்டல் ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் ஐ சார் டோல் நார்கோட்டிக்ஸ் போட்டு எல்லாம் போட்டு தே ஆர் ட்ரைங் பட் வாட் டு டூ பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் தீஸ் ஃபோர் இயர்ஸ் என்வைரன்மெண்டல் ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் ஆர் தேர் I agree with your point. You are very vulnerable. Sir, you can talk about it. You can talk about it. You can talk about it. Because it's available. Widely available. I know where it is available. And all. Because police people are coming. Every day, one or two or three cases are cannabis. Chinna chinna pasang. Either gori metal or metal or somewhere. Police officers. Available. It is not rare. It's available everywhere. It's accessible. Go in and get it. முன்னெல்லாம் பரவாயில்ல பசங்களுக்கு மட்டும் தான் வந்து தம்மு கொடுத்தாங்க இப்போ பொண்ணுங்களுக்கு தம்மு கொடுக்குறாங்க சரக்கு அதே மாதிரி தான் அக்சஸபிள் இசன் இட் உண்டா இல்லையா அஃபோர்டபிள் காசு இருக்கு எய்தர் பாக்கெட் மணின்னு வாங்கலாம் இல்லைன்னா ஸ்டீல் லெட் பொய் சொல்லி வாங்குவோம் அண்ட் தென் அவாய்டன்ஸ் யூ ஆர் நாட் ஏபிள் டு அவாய்ட் சர்டன் திங் த ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஷிப் பியர் தட் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் இல்ல 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 இஃப் ஐ எம் நாட் ஸ்மோக்கிங் இஃப் ஐ எம் நாட் ட்ரிங்கிங் ஈஃபன் இஃப் ஐ எம் நாட் யூசிங் கனாபேஸ் அவங்களும் போகலன்னா அவன் என் ஃப்ரெண்டே கிடையாது என்ன ஒதுக்கி விட்டுருவான் ஐயோ அந்த கேங்கில் நானும் போகணும் ஸோ வாட் யூ ஷூட் டூ யூ ஷூட் ஐடென்டிஃபை தீஸ் பீப்புள் யூ ஷூட் மேக் தம் டூ கம் திஸ் சைட் சார் சொன்ன மாதிரி ரைட் பாத் கொண்டு வரணும் ரேதர் தென் யூ ஆர் கோயிங் அண்ட் ஃபாலிங் டு தட் ட்ராப் தீஸ் ஆர் த என்மெண்டல் ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் ஸோ ஹவு டு ப்ரிவெண்ட் ஸோ இதுதான் சார் ப்ராப்ளம் சொல்லியாச்சு சொல்யூஷன் சொல்லாமல் என்ன பண்ணுறது ஸோ ப்ரிவென்ஷன் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் பி அவேர் ஆஃப் த சப்ஸ்டன்சஸ் ஆஃப் அடிக்ஷன் அண்ட் அடிக்ஷன் இட் செல்ஃப் ஸோ ஹூ ஆர் ஆல் அடிக்டட் ஐ டோல்ட் யூ தோஸ் ஹூ ஆர் ஹேவிங் கிரேவிங் லாஸ் ஆஃப் கண்ட்ரோல் டாலரன்ஸ் வித்ட்ராவல் ஹார்ம்ஃபுல் யூஸ் அப்யூஸ் இவங்கெல்லாம் அடிக்ஷன் அண்ட் வாட் ஆர் த சப்ஸ்டன்சஸ் ஐ டோல்ட் யூ எனி ஒன் அல் உங்களை கூட செல்லலாம் என்னென்ன இப்போ பேசினமே ஆல்கஹால் நிகோட்டின் cannabis inhalants there are a lot of substances i am not covering smartphone and all that will be next to other speakers first we should be aware then be prepared to encounter people who abuse yaar yaar your friends where yaar kedaiyad your neighbors your family members then they are really important and enjoy what you have enjoy the life or adopt a lifestyle without these substances irukala la mudiyuma mudiyada it is possible it is possible to lead a life without smoking without drinking without using cannabis without using inhalants it is possible it's a healthy lifestyle and importantly connect with the friends who are not using it ungala mudiyilaya kalti utrala onnum thappu kedaiyadu okay because or vimala than sir sonna mari tirukkural la vandu ungalku vandu help pandravan dhaan nanban keduthu varavan nanban kedaiyadu okay and create hobbies you join with your uh, some indoor activities indoor game or outdoor games okay ns some other activities hobbies okay whatever which is helpful for you healthy for you and as sir said set an example being a healthcare professional poor pitties or staff nurse or kutum namma or social worker or poor illa vandu medico mbbs doctor or poor whoever it is we should set an example for others so that others should not use it nammala use panna kudadu and இல்ல சார் முடிஞ்சே போச்சு அப்படின்னா சீக் ஹெல்ப் டோன்ட் திங்க் ஐயோ என்ன நான் யூஸ் பண்ணுறேன் தப்பாக நினைச்சுப்பாங்களோ ஒன்று சைக்கியாட்ரிக் பேஷன் லேபிள் பண்ணுவோம் டோன்ட் லைக் தட் அன்லெஸ் யூ சீக் ஹெல்ப் யூ வில் நாட் கெட் 
solutions. So what are things? The tips I'm getting. I told you, you know, if you are crossing the road, you are seeing both sides. Pros and cons. Weigh the risk and benefits. What are the risk? What are the benefits? benefit temporary relief or pleasure will be getting. But what are the risks you are having? You are having all the health problems. Okay. I told you so many things. It affects the brain. It affects the heart. It affects the lungs. Okay. It affects the kidney. It affects all your organs. So risks are more important. Then who will do? In the Pakana Pakuna, risk is more than a benefit. So which one you'll choose? Can I choose for you, Pa? Risk, parvala, risk, 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 But the problem is, you will be having health problems. The benefits of using it long term or short term, it's very short term only. There is no long term benefits. It is short lasting only. And the probability of the getting addicted is very high. Smoke, parvala, parvala. Tanya di Granj Paravala, Adathadi. But cannabis abuse is having high probability of addiction. So that is why cannabis is stressed again and again because the uses are very common thing. It can be in the use of the inhalation form or injection form or a chocolate pizza, whatever it is. But it is high, high probability of addiction. Then another tip is assertiveness. One should have the boldness to say no. Illala vena. Damadi gare illala vena. Ni vena adishtwa. Illani adikyaman gare. But na enne kubda da. Idhanal nama friendship ketupo nana chukuda. Don't link two things. Okay. You should have assertive skill. And help the friends who are using substance by telling these risk versus benefit ratio. And then coping skills, I told you positive coping skills. You go and go for a walk or a jogging, or watch a movie or read a story or games. Okay, you can indulge, you can spend the time in a positive things which are helpful for you, which are healthy for you, rather than indulging in things. So negative coping skills, you'll avoid them by if you are not able to do, as our registrar told, give a group. If you are not able to read alone, get a group. Okay, go along with your group. Okay. And play with your friends group activities, group studies, and the solve the interpersonal issues, which I told you, which are very common factors for addiction. So any question answers? I'm glad to answer. Thank you very much. Any questions, sir? Thank you, sir. So we can take a couple of questions if we have to the speaker. And after that, we can move for the next session. All are very clear. <laughs> okay, since uh, yes, sir, please, sir. Thank you for the presentation, sir. Uh, my question is regarding as you are from Indira Gandhi Medical College, uh, from Pondicherry government side, is there any particular uh, designated addiction, de addiction center, sir, where we can refer the patients or from rural area? Or any particular helpline is there which government of Puducherry is following where we can refer. Because we go to visages and all, if you identify, definitely we have these tertiary care hospital, but from government side, is there any support system for specifically for addiction? There is no separate de addiction helpline, sir. So whatever the health uh, helpline is available, GH, that we are using it. Point number one. Point number two, we are uh, in the process of installing telemanas. I think within one or two months, it will get implemented. So we recruited people and all. Once it is getting implemented, there will be a separate uh, online and uh, this telephone services, 24 into 7 services will be there. Psychiatric social workers, clinical psychologists and all will be recruited. We are just waiting for the result. Third point, there is no separate government run de addiction center in Pondicherry. We wrote so many letters, we are just yet to get the funds. There are a lot of private organizations are there, which you can refer, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So we'll move on for the next session. Uh, 
thank you sir for your informative presentation i request dr i request dr surya kumar sir assistant professor department of psychiatry mgm cra to felicitate dr arul varman sir associate professor and head of the department igm cra We will now have a short break. Tea will be provided outside. Kindly assemble here before 10.50.
Welcome back, one and all. I request oh. Dr. Karthik, sir, Associate Professor, Department of Psychiatry, to introduce the next speaker of the day. Thank you. It gives us immense pleasure to uh, invite the next speaker. He is Dr. John Dinesh, Professor and HOD of Psychiatry, AVMC, Puducherry. He has, sir, has finished his MBBS from Raja Muthaya Medical College, Anamal University, Chidambaram. Sir is also a celebrated alumnus of our college because sir is the first MD psychiatry pass out from MGMCRI. Sir has over 12 years of UG and 6 years of PG teaching experience. And sir is an active member in various professional bodies at the regional and state levels. So he's also an active resource person in academic uh, angles in form of like being chairpersons, panelists, and speakers in various uh, sessions. And also in outreach activities, he's a very active person by giving radio talks and media outreach, especially related to school and adolescent mental health, addiction and suicide prevention. So he has various reputed publications in national and international index journals. And uh, thank you. And we invite sir to give us this session. Check, check. Mic testing. Mic testing, one, two, three. Right. So, I expected this because normally when you give a break, half of the crowd vanishes. And uh, all the faculties will go out. Now, normally all of us are used to that. But I would be really grateful if this crowd a little moves in so that uh, the hall looks so completely full. I know I'm uh, giving you a task, but you know, talking to an empty chair demotivates the speaker. So, but I'll make sure that the next 45 minutes goes happily. Fine. So, I'm giving you two minutes of time. Um, whoever is here can text your friend, tell him or her saying, hey, nalla Sir is giving us five minutes of time to start. Fine. So group la message board. Hello. Hello. Putting la. Okay. So I am giving you uh, two minutes time. See, I'll tell you. Next one hour I'm going to be here because the next speaker has not come. Huh? So I have two hours of extraordinary time to spend with you, and uh, so you cannot escape from me. I'm giving you exactly two minutes of time to post it in your group close friend message panni and i have a lot of valid contents you know the topic no sexual addiction 
so very entertaining topics are there fine so all of you text your friend and faculties can freely post it in your group asking your members to come okay can i start or uh, what do you say sir sandrajan sir fine Am I audible? Fine. Okay. Sir, if all of you have done with your uh, talking, then I'll go with the session. Fine. So, you can finish the session. I'll start. Can I start? So, what we will do is like it's going to be a very interactive session now. Fine. Interactive session now. Inna abdi na. I'll talk with the group. I'll come down. Uh, put mic into your mouth. ask you to do all these things are going to be done in next one hour okay see normally when there is a cme la what every department does is we will have to write to every hr head of the departments head of the institutes and their department college principal call panni please send us your students we need the hall to be full no 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 we also do that so anala what we are going to do is this girl hall is going to be full and we are going to learn something today and i'll make sure that and i promise that next 45 minutes will definitely be very useful okay so can we start hmm? so what i expect is oru role and one person kai thukunanga abadina that rules okay so can we start sir can i start prabhat madam okay see at the last row and disoriented are going they are not into the cme at all ah uh, somebody has raised thank you here thank you thank you okay fine 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 thank you okay fine okay smoking causes cancer smoking kills puhai pidipadu puttrunoyai undaakkum mattrum uyirai kollum liquor drinking is injurious to health madu arundudal udal nalathirkku kedu vilaivippidagum watching porn is injurious to your mental health and physical health ஆபாச படங்கள் பார்ப்பது உடல் நலத்திற்கும் மனநலத்திற்கும் கேடு விளைவிப்பதாகும் பதினெட்டு வயசுக்கு கீழே உள்ளவங்க இருதய நோயால் பாதிக்கப்பட்டவங்க ரொம்ப ஆச்சாரமான குடும்பத்தை சேர்ந்தவனா செக்ஸ்ங்கிற வார்த்தை எனக்கு பிடிக்காது இந்த மாதிரி யாராவது இருந்தீங்கன்னா டீ பிரேக் இன்னொரு ஒன் ஹவர் எடுத்துட்டு அப்புறம் வாங்க ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த டிஸ்கிளைமர் ஓகே ஜோக்ஸ் அப்பார்ட் த ஐடியா ஆஃப் மேக்கிங் ஆல் த ஸ்லைட்ஸ் சி இன் மை நெக்ஸ்ட் ஃபார்ட்டி டு ஃபிஃப்டி ஸ்லைட்ஸ் ஐ ஹவ் டேக்கன் அண்ட் லாட் ஆஃப் அஃபர்ட் டு புட் அப்ராப்ரியேட் இமேஜஸ் ஒவ்வொரு இமேஜுக்கும் பக்கத்தில் தெர் வில் பி எ பர்சன் தேர் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் தே வில் ஹாவ் அ சிமிலாரிட்டி ஃபார் தேட் ஸோ திஸ் ஐ வாண்ட் டு புட் ஹியர் பிகாஸ் அட் த எண்ட் ஆஃப் த செஷன் you might learn all new words sex na enna masturbation na enna pornography na enna and paraphilic disorders na enna all these are we are going to talk fine seriya all of you ready yara denchi poradhukku ready a irukringa so with your consent i'll move to the next slide fine all of you are okay so my topic for today is sexual addiction and student mental health actually the topic should have been sexual addiction among teenagers but avade pan sir student mental health thi setter kuda ena invitation la pota edha thappa irumo undu illa sir fine so i am dr john dinesh professor and head from nearby college ninga kallu vittu irunja enga college la poi vilandrom avmc department of psychiatry i am professor and head so my sincere thanks to dr nyaneshwar sharma former hod department of psychiatry dr shiva prakash sir because of whom i am standing here as a student here i was the first batch of md psychiatry here in this college in the year 2007 and whatever i am going to speak now is probably because of the blessings of the those two people whom i had as faculty there i thank dr avadeepan dr vimalanathan dr karthik dr vignesh and everyone from the department of psychiatry rajkumar monica is missing everyone from the department of psychiatry 
for having given me a chance to speak in front of you people so overview of my topic will be what are the characteristics of a teenager of, of 2023 and what are the challenges our teenagers and all the green shirts and yellow shirts face here and i'll be talking on the common behavioral addictions among teenagers and the sexual addictions that are common among teenagers and how is that one person gets ad addicted to pornography and what is the cycle of that addiction and what are the seven levels of addiction and various risk factors making someone vulnerable to get addicted to pornography and what are the signs of an addicted person and how to screen for addiction how to screen ourselves whether we have got addicted to watching pornography and what are the negative side effects of porn addiction and how to overcome pornography addiction okay so even though i have mentioned something called sexual addiction in the slide first slide what we are going to study today is mainly on pornography okay can someone tell me what is pornography in tamil because when i tried typing in google trying to find out what is pornography in tamil aabasa moolai kilarchiyala indha maari oru vaarthaya na kelvi pattade illa actually it is called aabasa padam right aabasa padam onne pakkathula oru ponnu thirumbi appadiya appadi onnu iruka sollave illa nee indha maari adirchi aagadinga at the end of this presentation if you have not accessed pond don't try to access pond after listening to my lecture i am not responsible for that sar kudutha hype la mavana innike poi naal website ah download pandran panniradinge puriyada okay so developmental of characteristics of teen see ninga pusuk pusuk nu sirichittu amidhi aayirunga okay illati na pesuradhu kekkad fine hmm fine so teens are having a unique identity now okay they are self absorbed engalukku ella theriyum nee inga onnu solla venda and the attitude la we are they are self absorbed and but they are also tell us that no one understands us and friends tha ellame appa amma ve adu varudhu adu podu adu anga irukum appdin solluvom we are very close to our friends and but at the same time we want parental support but kelvi ke kudal no interference na nenacha varuven nenacha poven nenacha phone eduthu paapen thirinu college poven thirinu pogama irupen kekkapadal so these are teens of 2023 and we all of us as a teenagers have had emotional reactions because this is the age of all the orange shirt and all the green shirts here what i am highlighting is this is the age that all our hormones are in the peak and there are a lot of brain changes that happen and there are few brain regions maybe i'll also cover certain brain regions that are involved in addiction okay certain brain regions in and pathinga prefrontal cortex inge so the prefrontal cortex plays a very vital role in addiction and any changes in prefrontal cortex nucleus accumbens which is mainly for motivation the limbic system the hypothalamus all these have got a vital role in someone's addiction okay adolescent challenges so what are the challenges the students today challenge pathinga na there are a lot of academic pressures prabhavadi madam you will agree la you will have to complete your assignment in time submit in time time ku varano shoe podano id card edukano mudi cv irukano enna correct ah rendu milli ml potu seivano or ml kammiya irundhalo fine so there are lot of academic pressures full sent result varano fail aaninga na thirupi thirupi eludhittu varano personal pressure we we'll have to look beautiful handsome photo edukumbodhu vaira ullai elukano photo eduthona vaira veliyathalano lot of personal pressures 
சின் தட் இஸ் த ரீசன் வை ஐ நார்மலி ஸ்டாண்ட் பிஹைண்ட் திஸ் போடியம் நான் வெளியே வந்துட்டா எல்லாமே தெரிஞ்சிடும் அதனால நார்மலி ஐ ஹைட் மை செல்ஃப் பண்றது பிஹைண்ட் த பர்சனல் போடியம் பியர் ப்ரெஷர் ஸோ ஆல் ஆஃப் பியர் ப்ரெஷர்ல நம்ம கூட இருக்கிற ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸே நம்மளை ஏத்தி விட்டுக்கிட்டே இருப்பாங்க அது ஒன்னு தாண்டா பாக்குது இப்படி உசு பேத்தி உசு பேத்தி உசு பேத்தி தே வில் டேமேஜ் அவர் ஹோல் அகாடமிக் கரியர் நெக்ஸ்ட் இஸ் ஃபேமிலி ப்ரெஷர் ஸோ அவர் ஃபாதர் மதர் சிஸ்டர் தே வில் கம்ப்ளீட்லி கிவ் அஸ் லாட் ஆஃப் அகாடமிக் ப்ரெஷர் ஹியர் அப்பார்ட் ஃப்ரம் அவர் டீச்சர்ஸ் ஒன்னா நான் கஷ்டப்பட்டு படிக்க வைக்கிறேன் இந்த ஸ்டாண்டர்டு டைலாக் அவங்க தூக்கத்தில் கூட சொல்லுவாங்க நைட்டு ஒன்னா நான் கஷ்டப்பட்டு படிக்க வைக்கிறேன் நல்லா படிடா அப்படின்ட்டு ஸோ வி ஆர் ஃபெட் அப் ஹியரிங் தட் ஃபேமிலி ப்ரெஷர்ஸ் சோஷியல் ப்ரெஷர் சோஷியல் ப்ரெஷர் கம்ஸ் இந்த ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் கேடிஎம் பைக்கு காரு புது ஐஃபோன் ஃபிஃப்டீனு ஸோ வி ஆர் என்டைட்டில் டு அப்கிரேட் அவர் செல்ஃப் அண்ட் ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் ப்ரெஷர் தட் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ப்ரெஷர் வாட் டீன் ஏஜஸ் கோ த்ரூ ஸோ வி லவ் டு இமீடியட்லி ரிப்ளை டு அவர் ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் பார்ட்னர் ப்ளூ டிக் போட ஏன் இவ்வளோ நேரம் ஆச்சுன்னு கேட்பாங்க நான் போட்ட போஸ்ட்டுக்கு ஏன் நீங்கள் இன்னும் லைக் போடலை மிச்சவங்க எல்லாருக்கும் லைக் போட்டிருக்கீங்க நான் ஸ்டேட்டஸ் போட்டு சிக்ஸ் ஹவர்ஸ் ஆச்சு யூ ஹவ் நாட் சீன் மை ஸ்டேட்டஸ் ஒய் ஆர் யூ ஸ்டில் ஆன்லைன் ஃபார் சச் அ லாங் டைம் தே ஹாவ் டு புக் பஸ் டிக்கெட்ஸ் அப்பாவுக்கு மருந்து வாங்கி கொடுக்கணும் அம்மாவுக்கு ஃபீஸ் கட்டணும் நிறைய பர்சனல் ப்ரெஷர்ஸ் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் திஸ் மெனி ப்ரெஷர்ஸ் எவ்ரி டீன் ஏஜஸ் கோ த்ரூ and introduction to teen addiction see we all of us have been addicted to a lot of things fine for example if you can classify addiction into two one are called behavioral addiction other one are called non behavioral addictions behavioral addictions and that i am going to talk today non behavioral addictions are chemical addictions for example dr arul verman was speaking about alcohol cocaine cannabis all these are chemical addictions so what i'm going to talk now to you is about all about behavioral addictions so our behavior addictions la social media addiction internet addiction and food addiction work addiction eating addiction uh, anything else gaming addiction fantastic gaming addiction gambling addiction and sex addiction nu undirukku sexual addiction so when i say that i want to talk something about sexual addiction abinna does not mean that someone is all the time preoccupied with sex 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 ingiradhu kedaiyadhu it is not that sexual addiction means that these people want to indulge in sexual activity it is these people who are so called sexual addicts are persons who are eager to know the contents of sexual activity either in the form of videos images or stories fine i don't know how much so this is the teenagers era that we go through now normally sexual abuse okay most of the women who are depressed who come to the psychiatrist us if you are going to probe extra one or two minutes about their illness they would come out with something called an sexual abuse childhood sexual abuse so lot of teenagers here idha na velila sollave illa sir sollave mudiyala nala but i still hold this pain and agony in my heart idu it is because of my own family members i have experienced childhood sexual abuse second is pornography okay so pornography when i say pornography uh if you can divide this word into two porn means prostitutes abdin solluvanga nama we don't use that now we call them as commercial sex worker graphy means recording of a material so recording of an activity of an prostitute abdingradhukku per da the pornography abdin vanduchu next common thing what teenagers are addicted to is masturbation otherwise called as genital self stimulation we psychiatrists have come across lot of young male presenting to psychiatric opd with severe feelings of guilt shame anxiety depression and suicidal ideas because of excessive masturbatory guilt and sexual dysfunction 
அடோன் ஹவு மெனி ஆஃப் யூஆர் அவேர் நிறைய நம்ம வீட்டில் ஒரு ஒரு அண்ணன் இருப்பாங்க கல்யாணத்துக்கு ஒத்துக்கவே மாட்டாங்க ஏழு கழுத வயசாச்சு ஆனால் கல்யாணத்துக்கு மட்டும் ஒத்துக்கவே மாட்டாங்க தே இல் பி அவாய்டிங் மேரேஜஸ் ப்ராபப்ளி தே மைட் பி ஹோல்டிங் சம்திங் கால்ட் அண்ட் மேஸ்டர் பேட்ரி கில்ட் ஐ ஹவ் டன் என் ஆஃப் ஜெனிட்டல் செல்ஃப் ஸ்டெபுலேஷன் ஆல் தீஸ் இயர்ஸ் தட் ஐ ஹவ் லாஸ்ட் மை செக்ஷுவல் டிசையர் ஐ டு நாட் ஹேவ் அன் சஃபிஷியன்ட் எரக்ஷன் ஐ வில் நாட் பி ஏபிள் டு சாட்டிஸ்ஃபை அ கேர்ள் ஹூம் ஐ கோன் அ மேரி நெக்ஸ்ட் இயர் ஸோ ஐ எம் அவாய்டிங் மேரேஜ் there is one more problem that is common with teenagers apart from this excessive masturbation there is also same gender orientation because in hostel this happens predominantly in hostels boys hostel la there there are chances for some establishment of gay relationship similarly in hostels of women see idella edhuka solrena adhuka neenga innikku night torch adichu light potu theedadinge don't look for that i'm just speaking about all see i'll tell you see um where i was in a hostel okay i studied in a hostel every night at 10 o'clock my waster warden used to come to my room not a single room or periya balcony or full uh, or dormitory and endantha cot la seethu potruko adala pirichu uduvar after 35 years now i am able to understand why he did that now purida so sir adu thappa appdin ketta thappu da okay eppadi thappu nu solreenga appadina namma velila solla mudiyamal enna vishayangal seidhalum adu thappu innala dhairyama velila solla mudiyudhu oru vishayatha na seiyradha appadina adu thappu illa so now i understand see the same gender uh, why do these Uh, same gender relationship happen gay and lesbian happen in hostels abdinna we are so young 18 we enter into the hostel we leave hostel by 23 24 this is the age that our hormones are in peak and we are exposed to all explicit content enak ella vivaramum theriyudhu hormones ma pichu pudingi podambala secret avudhu ana veetla kalyanam panni vekka matakkaran illa that is why all these same gender physical relationship develop in order to meet their sexual gratification fine the last one which i mentioned here which is common among teenagers it starts in teenagers called paraphilias kelli pattirkeengala andha vaartha paraphilia na abnormal sexual deviant behavior but adukku paraphilia nu theriyadhu voyeurism exhibitionism fetishism masochism sadism and pudu what is telephone scatologia have you heard of this telephone scatologia i have come across a pair with telephone skill telephone scatologia one of the paraphilias enna abdina this guy went into a airtel shop where all the recharges are done he used to take all the recharges done take their names give them the call if there is a female speaker he used to talk to them obscene language so if you are know anyone who have this habit of taking random numbers calling them and talking to them in an obscene language that is called telephone scatologia sir idha naanga ellame pandrome idu disease ah apdi ke kuda it is a disease because these people do that and achieve the sexual gratification and one more thing that, that is very common and very new entity in 2023 is called the message pandrom la adukku per enna nu solluvom english la texting correct ah ah uh, ping but newer entity for 2023 is called sexting apdina enna na adula potrukku paarenga hey what are you wearing now இப்ப ரெண்டு மூணு பேர் போன் எடுத்து ரேஸ் பண்றாங்க வி ஆர் யூஸ் டு திஸ் வாட் ஆர் யூ வேரிங் நவு உடனே அங்கிருந்து அடுத்து ஒரு ரிப்ளை வரும் சி இல்ல பாதிக்கப்பட்ட நிறைய பேர் இதுல இருக்காங்க நினைக்கிறேன் சி தட் இஸ் வை ஐ டோல்ட் யூ அட் தி எண்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் லெக்சர் யூ வில் ஹவ் லேர்ன் லாட் ஆஃப் நியூ திங்ஸ் ஃபார் விச் யூ ஷுடன்ட் அப்ளை ஆல் தோஸ் டு சோ தெர் இஸ் சம்திங் கால்ட் செக்ஸ்டிங் தட் இஸ் வெரி காமன் வேர் இன் யூ ஆர் talking about intimacy 
so you might ask me sir don't you think it is normal when there is this sexting is common between relationships abdin anything more than the normal when it affects the day to day normal functioning of life even that is becomes problem so now let's go on to proper anatomy of what is happening in the brain so brain la pornography addiction ku enna na mechanism nadakkudu what are the regions that are involved in this addiction that is what we are going to learn all of you are there with me fine so far so good la onnu prachana illa okay do people watch porn yes lot of people watch porn see normally uh, can i have a hand mic also please hand mic okay so do pe- people watch porn abadina adukku munadi or question kekkom or boy kootu do you must wait abadina no 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 sir andha mari payan illa sir neenga thappana alta kettinga abadi vaanga but what normally is what normally happens is 99% of males they have this habit of genital self stimulation how many percentage 99% of people then who is that 1% of people solunga see adutha rendu hour ku speaker kedai adu naan dhaan aal illa may yadavan adu thirupi thirupi play pannikitte irukiradha dhaan enoda role aavade pan sir podum sir irangunga adutha speaker vanditaarengra varaikku naan dhaan புரியுதா சோ டூ பீப்புள் வாட்ச் பான் சோ ஐ வாஸ் ஆஸ்கிங் யூ அபவுட் டூ யூ மேஸ்ட் வெயிட் அப்படின்னு கேட்டீங்கன்னா லாட் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் மென் கைஸ் வில் சே ஹெசிடென்டா எஸ் சோ த ஒன் பர்சன்ட் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் வில் சே நோ தென் விச் மீன்ஸ் தட் என்ன தே டோன்ட் டூ இட் அப்படி தானே அப்படி தானே பட் த ஆன்சர் இஸ் நைன்டி நைன் பர்சன்ட் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் அக்ரி ஒன் பர்சன்ட் ஆஃப் பீப்புள் லை அந்த லை பண்றதுல நம்மளும் சேர்ந்துருவோம் அப்பப்ப so it is said that almost 100% see masturbation is not an abnormal process normal thing it starts from animals have you seen animals doing self genitalization this process of genital self stimulation when i say it is very common in men and also in women because recently i was treating a female patient almost 24 year old from pondicherry university she has just joined her phd 25 years so she was depressed i had started her on ssri so the side effects of an ssri of 3 to 4 months podum bodu enna aguna they have this decrease in libido loss of libido will be there okay so this female her symptoms have definitely improved her depressive symptoms improved but she wanted to ask me something sir does this medicine that you have given me decrease my libido so i was just wondering a little hesitant to ask how is she talking about libido she is an unmarried girl 24 years epdi libido pathi pesranga no sir uh, uh, earlier i have this um, habit of masturbating once in a while but nowadays like i am li- uh, living like a saint i don't do it at all after you have started me on medications so what i am trying to tell you is this genital self stimulation is common among genders most of the male gender accept that female gender are still hesitant to accept that so looking out the porn statistics here almost out of 189% of porn websites are originated or developed through from us other countries in which ponds are very common is brazil and south american countries they are very common so luckily india is not have had these many uh, websites and it is generally said that the normal age of onset of someone started viewing porn is almost 11 years mudal muraiyaga oruthangalukku and access eppadi varudna 11th year see our exposure to porn starts from our biology class le male reproductive organ female reproductive organ nam biology teacher varanju podumbodhu nam oru 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 paathukom macha paaranga all of you agree biology class and the biology class la nam attend pannam irundhona ipo varaikum we think sleeping next to a male will make us pregnant even after marriage 
yeah we have had patients we have had patients and the biology thanks to our biology teachers that we have been taught about our normal biology 9th 10th la adu romba alaga pada varaivaanga nama biology teachers and reproductive system of cockroach idella padichirukom la la but the reproductive system of human nadathum bodu namakkulla or curiosity irukum paarenga and the opposite gender pada varanju viduvaanga appo or kudukalam all of you will agree ipa keta cha 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 illa sir na romba andha mari payam kediyadhu appdi neenga theriyum okay so it is said that almost the curiosity of trying to know porn is between this 12 to 17 years ipa neenga college vandutinga la ipa vandu adha nama old sir appa sir paathadala ipa illa sir na ipa romba advance aitan sir and the 8th 9th 10th 11th 12th and the age la you have lot of curiosity to know what is there there are two models one is triple a model abdin solvanga why do people access internet why do people access pornography in internet because of triple a abdin solvanga triple a na because it is anonymous it is easily accessible and it is affordable this is called triple a model and there is also one more model called ace model which is anonymous convenience and escape from reality so these are the five common ways why people are wanting to watch the sex explicit content in internet because it is easily accessible it is anonymous neenga avangala paakalam neenga paakradha avanga paaka mudiyad it is affordable because all of us thanks to jio for bundle of packs net pack and generally it is acceptable across cultures watching porn idhil enna irukku and it is very addictive these are five years for common reasons for porn so now let's go back to exactly konja jokes taandi enna brain la nadakkudhu abindru so a man might initially begin to view pornography as a way to relax and relieve stress nama human tendency enna na ninga seiyadinga onna appadina adu seiyum appadi thana inda phone mattu edukada phone mattu edukada endu veliya povanga phone odane kadava saathi odane phone la eduth message paapom illa all of us have this curiosity to know what is there so man initially tries to watch porn and it is for enna da irukku adla abdin paakalam and when he sees that there is a visual stimuli that causes sexual arousal lot of changes that happen in our body and there is deep neural pathway gets excited and tolerance develops over the years so initially someone who's been seeing soft porn soft core porn see soft core hard core again in the vaarthai la pudusa irukalam sila perukku idu nalla theriyalam so when you talk about soft core hard core abdinna enna abdinna women are more into soft core porn avangalukku vande trisha vijay malliyo padathile poda oru scene e podum avanga 5 varsham 10 varshathukku adhe nenachikittu irupanga namma men ku adala onnume illa idala normal idana 6th standard le panna so men want hard core material women ku vande all these the sun music la paattu poduvaanga le the intimate scenes of kissing and stuff they avanga they are more happy with that engalukku idu podunga vera eduvume vendaanga but men ku idu mattum engalukku vendaanga vera ella vedunga okay idala record panni vechi veetla potu katta koodadhu puriyudha fine so once people are exposed to this soft porn the mind asks for more நம்ம சின்ன வயசுல இருந்து அதே ரெண்டு இட்லி சாப்பிடல ரெண்டு இட்லி இருந்து நாலு இட்லி ஆகுது நாலு இட்லி சிக்ஸ் இட்லி ஆகுது அஸ் வி க்ரோ சிமிலர்லி தென் வி ஆர் எக்ஸ்போஸ் டு திஸ் சாஃப்ட் கான் சாஃப்ட் பான் ஓகே பிவிஆர் ஞாபகம் வந்தனால சாஃப்ட் கான் ஓகே ஸோ இந்த சாஃப்ட் பான் அப்படி கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சமா ஆகி நம்மளுடைய வீல் இட் வில் புஷ் அஸ் டு த நெக்ஸ்ட் லெவல் ஃபைன் இப்ப நம்ம வீட்டுல ஒரு வேலைக்காரமா திருடுறாங்கன்னா எப்பவுமே ஐம்பது ரூபா திருட மாட்டாங்க ஒரு ஐம்பது தடவை திருடுனதுக்கு அப்புறம் இன்னும் எவ்வளவு திருடினாலும் தத்து கண்டே பிடிக்க மாட்டேங்கிறான் எடரா செய்யணும் போயிருவாங்கல்ல த சேம் திங் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் இன் பான் அடிக்ஷன் ஸோ பீப்புள் 
as years goes by they move on from the soft pond to a hard pond okay idhula or image potrukken bed sheet ku lla jilpansi so idhu ungalku nyabagam varudhe nyabagam varudhe no okay so next what happens is when people are exposed to the soft corn soft pond konja naal adukapra hard pond konja naal ella theory na kattukitta now it's time to experiment evlo naal na theory padichittirpa edra vandi huh this edra vandi is the path of addiction next that is where all these children who play are abused nama all of you agree la so when people are exposed to this soft porn hard porn these images get stored in the brain normally ipo kuda nalla yosthu paarenga ungalde partner ungalku first first eludna love letter ungalku marakkave marakkadu neenga first first paatha and the clipping of what scene adu mind la nu pogave paadu all of you neenga recollect panni paarenga pogadu and it gets stored imprinting is very heavy very heavy during adolescence so people try to experiment through access adala than the high risk behavior so in the 11th 12th ingra age la la people would want to take this high risk behavior masturbation at tandi like um, trying to go to a commercial sex worker all these happen during this 11th 12th and college days so when we go into the brain areas what really happens fine as all visual stimuli so we are exposed to some erotic stimuli on the screen this erotic stimuli stimulates get stimulated by the thalamus in the fore brain so poi fore brain hind brain mid brain idella paarenga okay so there is something called ventral tegmental area vta abdin solvanga nam ellarku vtv dhaane theriyum vennai taandi varuvaya இதுல வந்து விடிஏ அப்படின்னு ஒண்ணு இருக்கு அப்படின்னு மூலையில ஒரு சிக்னல கொடுக்கும் டெக்மெண்டல் ஏரியா இட் ரிலீசஸ் டிரான்ஸ்மிட்டர் கால்ட் டோபமின் அண்ட் தெர் இஸ் அட்வே இன் பிரெயின் கால்ட் pleasure pathway or otherwise called as reward pathway abdin solvanga reward pathway or pleasure pathway see pleasure pathway ungalku puriyira mari solnona na ipo vand whoever comes to college faculty whoever keeps the punch first yaar in the department la punch vekkraangalo avungalku 1000 rupees annaki increment appadiye salary la yeri rom abdina nam enna seivom 6 manikku inga lungiyoda vandu brush pannit irukom modalla vekkanum முப்பது நாள் டெய்லி வச்சோம்னா தேர்ட்டி தௌசண்ட் வில் பி ஆடட் டு மை அக்கௌண்ட் பண்ணுவோமா மாட்டோம் சார் வில் ட்ரை நோ ஸோ வாட் ரியலி ஹேப்பன்ஸ் இஸ் திஸ் ரிவார்டு புஷஸ் அஸ் டுவர்ட்ஸ் த பிஹேவியர் ஃபைன் ஸோ திஸ் டோப்பமின் ஆக்ட்ஸ் அஸ் அ பாசிட்டிவ் நியூரோ டிரான்ஸ்மிட்டர் ஸோ வென் எவர் யூ வாட்ச் பான் திஸ் வென்ட்ரல் டெக்மெண்டல் ஏரியா ஆஃப் த பிரெயின் கெட்ஸ் ஜால்டெட் அண்ட் தேர் இஸ் அ கஷ் ஆஃப் டோப்பமின் in the brain and this dopamine also creates a lot of changes in hypothalamus nammude moolayil irukkira and hypothalamus is the center for normal human survival sex eating drinking sleep all these fine so there is a lot, a lot of change that happens in hypothalamus and this hypothalamus is also connected with pituitary gland which releases testosterone so and the oru movie or an ori erotic stimuli creates a lot of change in the brain okay ninga solalam na rendu kannla paatha thana sir oru kanna mudittu mattu paatha idella stimulate aagama thadukka mudiyuma ninga over the years kannala paakave thava illa oru message vandha podum video uploading abdin group la kai ella nadunga aarambichiru namakku so what i'm trying to say is there are a lot of changes that happen in the brain gush of testosterone happens gush of dopamine happens and certain areas of the brain are stimulated so much that the brain wants it again 
and over years when it is repeatedly exposed to a pornographic content there is something called down regulation of dopamine receptors happen down regulation na enna appadina ipo nama vandu daily nama late a varrom kaiyila vandu prabhavathi madam 10 adi adikranga okay scale la 10 adi adichanga oru varshama kaiyila daily 10 adi vaangi irukkom rendavathu varsham chenda onna biometric vekkar madam adichirunga madam kaiyila chikra adichirunga madam time aagudhu அப்படிங்கிற நிலைக்கு வந்துடும் அந்த பத்தடி வாங்கி 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 நமக்கு பழகிறோம் கையை மறத்து போயிடும் அலஃப் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஸோ வாட் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் இஸ் திஸ் டவுன் ரெகுலேஷன் ஸோ வாட் எவர் தட் வாஸ் காசிங் அண்ட் அப்லிஃப்ட்மெண்ட் ஏர்லியர் நவ் வில் நாட் காஸ் திஸ் அப்லிஃப்ட்மெண்ட் அந்த ஹை கிடைக்காது ஸோ ஓவர் த இயர்ஸ் டாலரன்ஸ் டெவலப்ஸ் டாலரன்ஸ்னா என்ன இனிஷியலாக ஒரு ஒரு நார்மல் இன்டிமசி சீன் பார்த்தே ஸ்டிமுலேட் ஆகி கொண்டிருந்த நான் இப்ப இட் டசன் கிரியேட் அனி எனி ஸ்டிமுலஸ் இன் மீ ஐ ஹாவ் டு வாட்ச் பான் ஃபார் ஹவர்ஸ் டு ஹாவ் தி சேம் ஸ்டிமுலேஷன் நவ் ஆல் இஃப் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தலை ஆட்டுறதா வேண்டாமான்னு தெரியலையே ஆட்டிட்டோம் அப்படின்னா நமக்கு நம்மளை ஒரு பயங்கரமான ஆள் நிவர் நினைச்சிடுவார் ஃபைன் ஸோ எக்ஸசிவ் ட்ரக் யூஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ சேம் ஸோ பீப்புள் ஹூ ட்ரிங்க் அல்கஹால் ஆர் யூஸ் எனி சப்ஸ்டன்சஸ் ஓவர் இயர்ஸ் தே ஆல்சோ எண்ட் அப் பீங் டிபெண்ட் okay so over the years when you use something so continuously there is something called tolerance which develops tolerance na enna na evala adichalum thaanguvanda abdin or vaartha irukku la vadivel evala adichalum thaanguvanda abdingiradhu vande prabhavadi madam kaiyila podranga la 10 adi daily madam ungala perumaiya dhaan solran see i am taking her for granted because a madam has been here for almost 15 years mela la madam and uh, when i was doing my pg madam was here so i have a great respect for her adanalu madam tha appadi appa solluva presentation ku nadu nadu eduthukku so changes in breeder okay so there has been repeated sexual arousal response system odikite irukku and people get addicted more and more and more see namakku onnu illa ungalku puriyira mari sollanum na which is the best biryani in pondicherry according to yara sir your favorite biryani in pondicherry <laughs> sir mushroom biryani is also biryani no okay so saundarajan sir which is your favorite biryani in uh, kadalur devi hotel ode biryani okay so ungalku puriyira mari sollanum na ipo nama devi hotel biryani saaptitam seriya so devi hotel biryani saapta odane we feel cha enna ma and mutton piece avlo avlo romba alaga irukku அப்படி சாஃப்ட் அவ்வளவு இதா இருந்துச்சு அப்படி வாயில வைக்கும் போது மெல்ட் ஆச்சு என்ன டேஸ்ட் அப்படின்னு சொல்றோம் சோ அடுத்து ஒரு டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ட்ரீட் அப்படிங்கும் போது ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கா சார் என்ன பிரியாணி சஜஸ்ட் பண்ணுவாங்க ஏ தேவி ஹோட்டல்லே வச்சிடலாங்க அப்படிமாங்க பிகாஸ் அவர் பிரெயின் இஸ் பீன் ரிவார்டட் வித் தேவி ஹோட்டல் பிரியாணி ஏர்லியர் சோ எவ்ரி டைம் அவர் பிரெயின் வில் ஆஸ்க் ஃபார் ப்ரிஃபர் தேவி ஹோட்டல் பிரியாணி புரியுதா உங்களுக்கு சோ ஓவர் தி இயர்ஸ் த சேம் டாலரன்ஸ் டெவலப்ஸ் so this is the addiction cycle so whenever we have emotional pain or boredom emotional pain na nama kashtathula dhaan porn paakanum nu illa ipo la epdina saturday sunday leave da bore adikudhu i'll watch porn amma thittitaanga i'll watch porn yes not picked up my call let me watch porn there is free internet mgm sir is providing let us watch porn 1 gb data waste agudhu macham download watch porn okay idella note panni vechu idea va please don't download and spoil my life okay so emotional pain any distress boredom anger irritability anxiety depression what we need is this brain will ask for something enna pannalam ipo duty day illa okay so i'll try again either food addicts will go for a food eating alcoholics will go for an alcohol porn interest pandravanga will again start watching porn and once they take watch porn there it gives a sense of gratification temporarily adu paathu mudinjadukaprom what really happens is chenna or paavi aite en friend la paaka matakara na mattum dhaan paathiten avalla isha yoga vali paa poram பட் நான் இப்படி பார்த்து நான் மட்டும் ரொம்ப மோசமான பயன் ஆகிட்டேன் அப்படின்னு ஐ வில் ஹேவ் லாட் ஆஃப் ஷேம் கில்ட் டிப்ரெஷன் ஸோ திருப்பி எமோஷ்னல் பெயின் எமோஷ்னல் பெயின் வரும்போது என்ன பண்ணோம் சரி திருப்பி பார்ப்போம் 
இந்த பெயினை எப்படி போக்குறது திருப்பி பாரு ஓகே ஸோ இஃப் யூ ஆஸ்க் அல்கஹாலிக்ஸ் அப்படின்னா தேவ் ஹாவ் லாட் ஆஃப் ரீசன்ஸ் ஃபார் ட்ரிங்கிங் தேவ் சே என்னால் தூக்கம் வர மாட்டேங்குது அப்படின்னு ட்ரிங்க் பண்ணிட்டு இருந்தவங்கெல்லாம் இப்போ எப்படின்னா வீட்டிலிருந்து வெளியில் போகணும் மை ஒய்ஃப் வில் நாட் அலவ் மீ டு கோ அவுட் ஆஃப் ஹோம் தோசை எடுத்து சாப்பிடுவாங்க சி சட்னியில் உப்பே இல்லை இதெல்லாம் சாப்பாடான்னு வெளியே போயிடுவாங்க தேல் கோ ட்ரிங்க் அகெயின் so brain will ask for give us lot of reasons to use that again and again that is how the cycle of addiction happens nama ellar manasila ore oru kelvaru innaikku mattum kadesiya oru thara paathittu naal ilendu paaka mandada satyam adimbaanga naal kaalilaiy adhe dhaan pannuvom so all of us have this habit now onna theedi ana gym ku poiruven naal ilendu kaalaila paaru walking aarambichiren night e vandu dress alla eduthu vekkiradhu shoe eduthu vekkiradhu lace katti vekkiradhu ella pannuvom காலையில் இருந்துச்ச உடனே சனிக்கிழமை மண்டேலேருந்து ஆரம்பிக்கலாம் மண்டே ஆரம்பித்த உடனே டுவெண்ட்டி எயிட்த்து அக்டோபர் ஒன்றாம் தேதியிலேருந்து ஆரம்பித்தா தான் தேர்ட்டி டேஸ் கரெக்டாக வரும் கரெக்டாக ஆல் ஆஃப் அஸ் ஹாப் திஸ் ஹேபிட்னும் வி ப்ரோஸ் கேஸ்டினேட் லாட் ஆஃப் திங்ஸ் ஒய் டூ டீன்ஸ் ப்ரிஃபர் கேம்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபோனோகிராஃபி மோர் அப்படின்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா திஸ் ஜிம்பார்டோ he was did a research on teenagers and he found out that 80% 85% age of people teenagers said that they have this instant gratification when they watch that and 73% of people said there is no risk of rejection from the content and it is fun and easily accessible 67% of people had sense of control and 67 to escape from the monotony of real life so these are the reasons why people still prefer online gaming and pornography so going back to few research that has been done in india about use of pornography among medical students i have come across i read almost 15 to 20 articles for this presentation i thought these three which i have taken here is more appropriate so this study was published in 2022 in journal of psychosexual health the study is about internet pornography use among medical students in india so in the college so one 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 year ku 250 students here la so maybe 1250 people for mgm sare if suppose the college has 150 admissions so imagining 150 admissions there will be hardly around 600 people in the campus mbbs out of that the surprising fact is 393 medical students have agreed that they watch porn which is very very surprising information to all of us out of that 393 almost 11% of people they had severity of internet pornography addiction this is what the study says there is an extensive use of pornography content material among males and less problematic use among females that is what this study about there is one more study which is about cyber pornography addiction among medical students again a very recent study 2021 published in journal of um, health again our nearby place telugana which says male in that college almost 58.3% agreed watching porn and 41% of female medical students agreed to have watched porn and this study tells us about whether there is a problematic use of pornography or minimal risk of pornography or addictive risk so it was found that almost um, 3% 3% of males were in a very problematic high dependent in with pornography so what are the reasons for pornography addiction this is one more very interesting study again journal of psychosexual health which studied about pornography and its impact on adolescent and teenage sexuality so the reasons what these teenagers said in that study was the reason for accessing pornography during their college days was normal development of sexuality which peaks during adolescence so ninga onnume pannaati kuda whatever that is erotic that is happening see if i'll tell you what is erotic na very simple easy to understand nama class la vande or girls irukanga boys irukanga okay or or girl vande she wears a new earring for that day 
நல்ல மேக்கப் எல்லாம் போட்டு ஒரு சூப்பர் இயரிங் போட்டு வராங்க அந்த கூட உள்ள ஆறு பொண்ணுங்க உன் கம்மல் ரொம்ப அழகா இருக்கடி உன் கம்மல் ரொம்ப அழகா இருக்கடினா இவங்க மைண்டுக்கு அது போகவே போகாது இந்த சீனியர் அண்ணன் வந்து பா உன் கம்மல் உனக்கு ரொம்ப அழகா இருக்கு அப்படிங்கறத விட ஒன்னாலதான் இந்த கம்மலுக்கே அழகுன்னு சொல்லிட்டு போயிருவாங்க இதை இந்த பொண்ணு ஒரு வாரம் தரையில நடக்காது தூங்காது அந்த அண்ணன் வரும்போது போகும்போதெல்லாம் சிரிச்சுக்கிட்டே இருக்கும் ஆனா கூட உள்ள ஆறு பொண்ணுங்க சொல்லியிருப்பாங்க உன் கம்மல் அழகா இருக்குன்ட்டு அது மைண்டுக்கே போகாது இது எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் பண்ணிருப்பீங்கன்னு நினைக்கிறேன் நார்மலி வென் யூ லுக் அட் விமன் ஐ சீரியஸ்லி டோ நாட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் விமன் அட் ஆல் வெரி வெரி டிஃபிகல்ட் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ தெர் இல் பி எ கை இன் யுவர் கிளாஸ் ஹூ ஹேஸ் அ பிஎம்டபிள்யூ த்ரீ சீரீஸ் ஹூ ஹேஸ் திஸ் ஓப்பன் ஐ ஒன் பிளஸ் ஓப்பன் சாம்சங் ஃபிளிப்பு எல்லாம் வச்சு வில் ட்ரை டு இம்ப்ரெஸ் யூ பட் அவங்கள ஏர் எடுத்து பார்க்க மாட்டீங்க உங்களை கொண்டு வந்து விடுற ஆட்டோ அண்ணா வில் பி இம்ப்ரெஸ் யூ ஸோ ஈஸிலி வெரி ஒஸ்ட் உங்களை புரிஞ்சிக்கவே முடியல செகண்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன் ஃபேக்டர் வாட் மேக்ஸ் டீனேஜர்ஸ் லுக் ஃபார் இஸ் செக்ஷுவல் கியூரியாசிட்டி அஸ் ஐ டோல்ட் யூ ஏர்லியர் அதுல என்னதான் இருக்கு அப்படின்னு நம்ம பார்த்து தெரிஞ்சுக்கணும் சி ஐ ஹாவ் அ பிஜி ஆல் த வே ஃப்ரம் கேரளா ஹூ இஸ் கம்ப்ளீட்லி சாபர் அவளுக்கு அல்கஹால்னாலே என்னன்னு தெரியாது ஷி ஜாயிண்ட் த்ரீ மந்த்ஸ் பேக் இப்போ அவள் அடிக்காத ட்ரிங்கே கிடையாது ஷி ஜஸ்ட் டோல்ட் மீ சார் அதில் என்ன இருக்குன்னு ஞான் குடிச்சு பார்த்து எல்லாமே நல்லாயிட்டு உண்டு ஸோ ஷி ஹஸ் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் ட்ரங்க் எவ்ரி ட்ரிங்க் தட் இஸ் அவைலபிள் நவு ஷி ஹஸ் ஸ்டார்டட் ஹேவிங் அக்கௌண்ட் அண்ட் கிராவிட்டி ஃப்ளோட் ஹேஸ்ட் ஹாப்பஸ் so what i'm saying is this curiosity to know what is there in that substance curiosity to know what is available in that video curiosity to know what is happening why is that blocked this will make us wanting to know more and ineffective parent child sexuality communication abadina enna na still now our parents do not openly frequently talk to us about what is normal see what is normal menstruation what changes happen during menstruation what are the physical changes that happen what are the mood changes that happen none of the fathers have psychoeducated their son about what is a normal erection is it normal to have a nocturnal ena- e- e- ejaculation and the idella uh, pathi we don't educate because we have had a um, um, or boy crying extremely severely depressed enna nu kettinga na he has attained puberty and he has had this nocturnal ejaculation so idu appa vandu idu normal ana vishayam idu bayapadrad illa it is like a puberty for a male this when when you when you have nightmares related to sexual content it is very normal for a male to have this nocturnal ejaculation and it is very normal to have a early morning erection idella nama parent aga solli irundhona the child wouldn't have been feared so there is very poor child uh, sexual communication between the parents and the children so i think it is very necessary as a parent for all of us here to psycho educate our children idella pathi pesna avangalukku nammale content solli kuduthuruvom nenikiradhu thappu avangalukku thavaraga velila poi kattukittu purinjikiradha vida nama proper ah solli kudukiradhu is very important for all of us next is lack of formal sex education so in none of our school we have had normal formal sex education all the years we have been asked to sit boys sit separately girls sit separately tour ku thani bus thani hostel appra naanga eppadi thaanga avangala therinjikiradhu so curiosity again lack of formal sex education next is lack of sexual experience and understanding so i have not had any sexual experience in the past so i would want to know what is there adha enna da irukku so these are the reasons that all the teenagers in the study said this was the reason that that made them watch pornography fine so i'll go rush up because i have very little time so there are seven stages of sexual addiction one is epavadu paakradhu level 2 episodes of involvement more than six times in a year i'll rush up because i think i have taken a lot of time and again level 3 of skinner's level of pornography is episodes of about at least once a month paaka aarambikirathu next level 4 la viewing few times a month and more from moving from soft core porn to hard core and fantasizing more about uh, sexual fantasies have increased and when they try to cut back thinking about that these people experience lot of anxiety irritability 
Level four is viewing from months. It does reduce to three to five times a week. And out of seven thoughts they have in that week, recharge panano, college pono, assignment kudkono, pawn pakono. So out of seven thoughts, they say that pawn also comes under the priority of seven thoughts in level five. In level six, the pornographic content begins to dominate life and it becomes so compulsive. And almost the viewing has become very regularly. Every day, breakfast, morning, lunch, night, dinner, it is increased. And there is a very strong desire to watch it. And level seven is the last stage wherein they spend hours to hours watching porn. Hours to hours watching porn. Our parents are very easily adjustable. When a male boy who doesn't come out of the bathroom for more than an hour, we all have to go to the bathroom. What are you doing? Go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. Where are you? 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 People take such a long time. Fine. So they spend hours and hours trying to look for that and procuring substances. And lying is very frequent and they hide a lot of things. And these are the people who actually need an inpatient treatment to get quit. Fine. What are the risk factors for porn addiction? Yaar yaar klein the porn addiction. Who are vulnerable for that? Abdi inna paathe inna. Whoever have had childhood sexual abuse. Ninge kya kala? How can a child, na ipa I am abused in the childhood. How will I be um, watching porn? Abdi inna. So early I am experiencing such a thing. என்னுடைய ஃபேண்டசிஸ் என்னுடைய பாடிலி சேஞ்சஸ் நீங்க சின்ன வயசுலயே யூ டச் தட் அண்ட் யூ மேக் மீ ஃபீல் தட் சம்திங் இஸ் ஹேப்பனிங் வித் இன் மீ ஸோ ஹிஸ்டரி ஆஃப் சைல்டுஹுட் அபியூஸ் ப்ரிடாமினட்லி மேக்ஸ் அ பர்சன் வல்னரபுள் டு மேக் தம் வாட்ச் பார்னோகிராஃபி நெக்ஸ்ட் இஸ் டீலிங் வித் ஹிடன் எமோஷனல் பெயின் ஸோ சர்டன் பீப்புள் வித் அவர் பர்சனாலிட்டி ட்ரைட்ஸ் ஹாவ் திஸ் எமோஷனல் பெயின் traumatic childhood emotional deprivation in childhood poor parenting step fatherly treatment step motherly treatment abuse by our own family members all these emotional pain people who have been having this are also vulnerable to addict get addicted to pornography and certain personality traits anti social personality traits who have this poor coping skills poor assertiveness skills all these people are vulnerable for that and Another thing which makes a person vulnerable is early exposure. We have to learn about the seminar. In the sixth standard, we have to learn about the content of our mother's phone. Recently, I happened to see a girl, eighth standard girl from a school, who actually took her father's mobile to search for some educational content. And she is exposed to porn. And she didn't stop that. Something interested her. And she was found by her own mother. that appa ode phone eduth eduth enna ma pandra appadina at one point the girl said eight standard girl appa indha mari nariya padam paathirukkaruma nariya video vechirukkaruma so this has happened okay to all the fathers put that in a hidden folder folder signs of sexual addiction so let's go back to signs of sexual addiction so what they are sexually addicted ah irundanga na next 10 points சோ நீங்க இப்படி கவுண்ட் பண்ணிக்கிட்டே வரலாம் இதெல்லாம் நமக்கு இருக்குதா இல்லையா அப்படின்ட்டு லாஸ் ஆஃப் கண்ட்ரோல் ஐ வாண்ட் டு ஸ்டாப் வாட்சிங் பான் பட் ஐம் நாட் ஏபிள் டு ஸ்டாப் சோ லாஸ் ஆஃப் கண்ட்ரோல் ஆஃப் செக்ஷுவலி சீக்கிங் பிஹேவியர் இஸ் ஒன் செகண்ட் கம்பல்சிவ் பிஹேவியர் காலையில வடிவேல் அம்மா அப்பாட்ட சத்தியம் பண்ணுவார் இன்னமும் நான் குடிக்க மாட்டேன் சாயங்காலம் வந்து அப்பா அம்மாவையும் போட்டு அடிப்பார்ல குடிச்சிட்டு வந்து So, compulsive behavior. Thirumba, thirumba, aunga mind ila, adu odik te irukum. Efforts to stop. So, they will have a lot of failed attempts to stop. Even if they try to stop, one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour, they will not be able to stop. If you have seen this video, I will tell you what I am going to do. So, efforts to stop. They will have repeated failed attempts to stop. For this, loss of time. so people waste a lot of time trying to search for the video 10 minutes set put and mudichu varama oru man nera different different ah type panni type panni type panni they will want to get to that video pasanga ella sirikirike kunjitinge i can't type panna maatikidu undu okay loss of time 
so these people spend a lot of time trying to access their preferred genre see engalude kaalathula la pathinga na olden days la vande there was no internet at that time and we did not have this access to internet to watch pornography anda kaalathula la enna na all these books da seriya books da were available and and the books kuda nama senior anna povanga kadaiyila poi ninnittu hey sutti ninnukanga yaradhu nammala paakraangala nu paarunga abdin solittu these people will ask i don't know how many of you would agree the, all these, it is not available now so loss of time trying to get the content fine preoccupation with sexual thoughts in the class attend panitirundha kuda ivar eppa vittu na thirupi poi mobile la search panni paakuradhu enoda vpn vera block aayiruchu vera vpn download pannanum what is vpn யாரா சொல்லுங்க விபி என்ன என்னது வைஸ் பிரின்சிபல் நார்காட்டிக்ஸா சமன் சே வாட் இஸ் விபிஎன் சொன்னா மாட்டிக்குவோம் அகெயின் ஓகே இல்ல இல்ல ஐ யூஸ் விபிஎன் வெரி ரெகுலர்லி டு டவுன்லோட் டார்ட்ராய்ட் மூவிஸ்ல ஒய் டி எஸ் எம் எக்ஸ்ல அதனால தான் ஐ ஹாவ் அ விபிஎன் மை போன் வெர்ச்சுவல் ப்ராக்சி நெட்ஒர்க்கா கரெக்ட் அமே ரைட் ஆமானா சொல்லுங்க கரெக்ட் தானே வெர்ச்சுவல் பிரைவேட் நெட்ஒர்க் கையெல்லாம் நடுங்குது தெரியலங்கிற பொய் பொய் வெரி லைக் ஓகே வெர்ச்சுவல் பிரைவேட் நெட்ஒர்க் நாட் ப்ராக்சி நெட்ஒர்க்கா பிரைவேட் நெட்ஒர்க் பட் வெர்ச்சுவல் இஸ் ரைட் கரெக்டா சாமி இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு கிரௌடை என் லைஃப்லயே நான் பார்த்தது இல்லை ஏ சம்மன் டெல் மீ வெதர் விபிஎன் கூகுளாவது பண்ணி சொல்லுங்க வெர்ச்சுவல் பிரைவேட் நெட்ஒர்க் ரைட் virtual private network correct ah correct nu mattu solunga virtual private network dana or proxy network virtual proxy network okay virtual proxy network so all of us will have who doesn't have virtual vpn blocker in their phone yaradhu oru kai thukunga yen phone la inda vpn illa sir abindru very good very good i see lot of hands here that means that you don't use your phone you use some other's phone <laughs> ஜெனரல் அதுதான் நான் குடிக்க மாட்டேன் சார் சீ 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 என் கை அதை தொடவே தொடாது அவரா ஊட்டி விட்டு அவன் சாப்பிட்டுருவேன் அந்த குரூப் நீங்கள்லாம் பரவாயில்ல ஃபைன் ஓகே லெட்ஸ் கோ பேக் டு செக்ரட்டரி லெட்ஸ் கோ பேக் டு செக்ரட்டரி ஃபைன் ஸோ கான்ஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரீ ஆக்குபேஷன் வித் தாட்ஸ் அண்ட் இன்னபிலிட்டி ஃபுல்ஃபில் ஆப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் ஸோ ஃபுல்ஃபில் ஆப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் இஸ் என்னால் அசைன்மெண்ட் பண்ண முடியல ஐ கே நாட் கம் டு கிளாஸ் ரெகுலர்லி ஐ ஃபுல்ஃபில் ஐம் நாட் ஏபிள் டு ஃபுல்ஃபில் த ஆக்குபேஷனல் assignments that are given to me so because i have been much looking into pornographic content more and not my routine and continuing despite consequences i know that i've been excessively watching porn i know that it affects my day to day life i know that it harms my mental health i am not able to sleep well at night i have this shame feel fear and guilt but still i am using it so continuing despite knowing the harmful consequences and escalation of behavior so over the years my watching has only increased and it has not decreased and experiencing losses experiencing losses academic failures la irukalam or relationship failures la irukalam experiencing lot of losses and withdrawal symptoms so common alcohol withdrawal symptoms vandu tremors of the hands la the same tremors of the hands can also happen people who are experiencing sexual addiction pornography paakada paakadi kuda kai nadukam varalam okay so withdrawal symptoms can have okay so we are almost at the end last few slides so if you want to screen yourself to find out whether you are addicted to watching pornography abdinna there is a questionnaire called pathos abdin p stands for preoccupation preoccupation do you have this preoccupation of thoughts to watch a have you ever felt ashamed of your behavior of watching porn regularly have you ever felt that you wanted to have a treatment t h do you hurt your partner by any means by words or by physical means again o do you think that your porn watching behavior is out of control and yes means do you feel sad for having such a behavior so idla 1 2 3 4 5 6 if you have any three 
positive out of this six, then probably it means that we are addicted to pornography. Fine. So negative impacts of pornography. How do you know? Academics. So I know students who are much involved in watching pornography most of the time and they are preoccupied with such a thoughts and masturbation so that they have repeated failure in examination. They are not able to concentrate. They have this uh, low self-esteem and low self-confidence. And how does watching pornography affect relationship is people who watch pornography, predominantly male who watch pornography, have a complete different opinion on their partner. They want to have the same sexual act that is done in a pornography at home, which is not possible at all. And they see women in a completely distorted way. There is a lot of sexual aggression towards their partners. And there is infidelity. Again, that happens in a relationship. And there is, when you come to physical health, so consequences of long watching porn, physical health is because of chronic depletion of this testosterone and a lot of brain chemicals. There is erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation and complete loss of libido in people who've been watching porn for a long time. I have come across married men who have told me and come for treatment saying that I am married now, but I still prefer watching porn more than having a physical intimate relationship with my wife. I have heard from men who have told me that watching porn and my self-genital stimulation gives me more pleasure than being physically intimate with my wife. So these are the negative impacts of watching pornography over years. And last is watching pornography for a longer time might produce shame, guilt, fear, anxiety, depression, and ideas of self-harm. So these are the ways individually that you can try. Identify the triggers. So what makes me watch porn? Now, Tanya Rikradhan pushes me to watch porn. Abdina, stay connected with people. Make sure that you are round the clock with people and you are not left alone. Identify your boredom. What makes you? See, triggers for an alcoholic is daily na Ramanik Murchi Valley with Varme. I will come across Rani wines. So automatically one day in party, Rani wines or cutting a boat to Puerwan. See, earlier there was something called Tanya Adikiradh Adikiradhangara Vartha was used more. La? Tanya Adipingla. Yevala ning Adipinga. I think as a health professional sitting here in the hall, we shouldn't be using this word called Adikiradh. Nama Yar demanding a Tanya Adiping Lan Kya Kudad, the layman basha. Kudi Palakam Ungla Girka is a much better word. Ning Yavala Vashama Tanya Adiking Rada. All of you understand? Purida Namma as a medical professional, we shouldn't be asking Yavala Vashama Tanya Adikiring. Our one the younger R. Goda and wife Katikur Mansar, Moon Wada, Malvi to Garan Kapanga, Chikur Mansar, innocent of the children. Other Kakalanga, Yolosama, Tani Sapring, alcohol Sapring, and Suket on a celebrated Badal Chulwanga. So it is always better that we change ourselves now, saying that Tani Edigre, Abding Rade, Parla, Kudi Palakam Sola, Illa Yolosama, alcohol editing is much better term. Fine. And installing filters, block, uninstall, exit. Exit Emnana. There will be a college group. UG college days. UG um, days no, group. No, no, UG group normal. No, no, UG group. Kasamusan. No, no, no. That's why the group is the content. That's why we message. Why the group is very silent? No new videos. We will do a video. So if you are into that, exist or exit all those WhatsApp groups, Telegram groups, where you are in it, one. Second, uninstall all the apps. So there is an app called Reboot, R-E-B-O-O-T, Reboot, for people who actually want to come out of porn addiction. There is, people can install this called Reboot. And install filters, install filters. Number Instagram, go photo filter a photo. But if you are going to install all this proper blocking website filters in websites for desktop, phone, we will the install filter in general. Ask them to remember the passcode so that you are away from that. Next is replace it with a healthy behavior. 
சி பான் பார்க்கறதுல எனக்கு கிடைக்கிற சந்தோஷம் தேவி ஹோட்டல்ல பிரியாணி கிடைச்சதுன்னா டெய்லி போய் தேவி ஹோட்டல்ல சாப்பிடுங்க இப்ப எனக்கு பான் பார்க்கற சந்தோஷம் நான் டெய்லி கிரிக்கெட் ஆடுறதுல கிடைக்குதுன்னா ஸ்டார்ட் பிளேயிங் கிரிக்கெட் எப்படி பான் பார்க்கறதுல உள்ள சந்தோஷம் இஸ் ஆல்மோஸ்ட் ஈக்வல் அண்ட் டு மீ கோயிங் ஃபார் அ பைக் ரேட் டு லடாக் டூ தட் ஸோ ஸ்டேயிங் கனெக்டட் வித் பீப்புள் ட்ரைங் டு அடாப்ட் ஹெல்தி ஹியூமன் பிஹேவியர்ஸ் டான்சிங் சிங்கிங் சி ஐ டெல் யூ சிங்கிங் அப்படின்னா யூ டோன்ட் ஹவ் டு பிகம் லைக் சுஜாதா சித்ரா அப்படிலாம் இல்லை so whenever i had boredom instead of going into all these website i started singing in an app called smule believe it or not i have 1100 followers now and i have completed 11k recording so far satyam adu eppadi nu enakku theriyala but what i am trying to tell you is like you don't have to become a professional dancer or singer adapting healthy lifestyle modifying your lifestyle will keep you occupied so that you don't fall trap to all these negative behaviors and main thing what you have to do is like acknowledge that you have a problem and get rid of all the content saved phone lende ellathai erase pannirpom hard disk la or naal video vechirpom pannadinge once you decide to quit make sure that you clear everything that all your hardware's in the phone and at home gets rid of and try to reduce screen time even though all of us are addicted to phones ஃபோன் இல்லாமல் நம்ம ஒரு நாள் கூட இருக்க முடியாது நம்ம எல்லாருமே பிக் பாஸில் போய் இருந்தால் கூட நூறு நாள் தாண்டி வந்து வில் ஸ்டில் கிரே ஃபார் மொபைல் ஃபோன்ஸ் நோமோஃபோபியா பட் இஃப் யூ கோன் ரெஸ்ட்ரிக்ட் யுவர் செல்ஃப் ஃப்ரம் ஃபோன் த லெஸ்ஸர் அடிக்டட் வில் பிகம் அண்ட் இஃப் அட் ஆல் ஸ்டில் இஃப் யூ ஹாவ் லாட் ஆஃப் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் யூ நாட் ஏபிள் டு கம் அவுட் ஆஃப் செக்ஷுவல் அடிக்ஷன் ஆர் அ பார்னோகிராஃபிக் அடிக்ஷன் சீக் ப்ரொஃபஷனல் ஹெல்ப் ஃப்ரம் பீப்புள் ஹூ ஆர் ட்ரெயின்ட் இன் ட்ரீட்டிங் யூ ஹூ கேன் ட்ரீட் யூ வித் ஃபார்மகாலஜிக்கல் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் again an ssri or non pharmacological management cognitive behavior therapy adala well proved uh, cbt is called act acceptance commitment therapy abdinu one irukku wherein um, you are flaws you are acknowledged and these people are get they train you about trying to quit, uh, quit from behavior and what can the, our government or stakeholders do enga college la la enna pannuvaanga na they will give free access wifi internet நம்ம ரொம்ப சந்தோஷமா வந்து ரெண்டு படத்தை டவுன்லோட் பண்ணிடலாம்னு பார்த்தா எந்த வெப்சைட்டை போட்டாலும் யூ டோன்ட் ஹாவ் ஆக்சஸ் எதுக்குடா இன்டர்நெட்டை கொடுக்குறீங்க எந்த சைட்டை ஓப்பன் பண்ணாலும் ஓப்பன் ஆகாது அமேசான் ஓப்பன் ஆகாது ஃபிளிப்கார்ட் ஓப்பன் ஆகாது த அட்மினிஸ்ட்ரேட்டர்ஸ் ஹவ் பிளாக்டு திஸ் சைட்டுன்னு வரும் ஐ ஐ டோன்ட் நோ ஹவு அபவுட் எம்ஜிஎம் சாரே ஹியர் எங்களுக்கு எந்த இது விபிஎன்லாம் ஒன்றுமே கிடையாது ஸோ வாட் யூ ஷுட் டூ இஸ் லைக் we should have a compulsory sexual education even in 8th standard 9th la 10th la 12th la what is normal what is abnormal abdi irundha than the way we look at the opposite gender with respect will prevent all these sexual abuses next is educating the masses okay about the harmful effects of pornography in the last one banning all pornographic websites nammalkal tiktok nariya ban pannainga adu oru paavum pannala டிக்டாக்கை பேன் பண்ணாங்க ஆனால் நிறைய பார்னோகிராஃபிக் சைட்டை ஃப்ரீயாக விட்டாங்க ஆன்லைன் கேம்பிளிங்கை பிளாக் பண்ண மாட்டேங்கிறாங்க ஐ டோன்ட் நோ ஸோ இஃப் கவர்மெண்ட் டேக்ஸ் அண்ட் எஃபர்ட் டு பிளாக் ஆல் தீஸ் வெப்சைட்ஸ் பார்னோகிராஃபிக் வெப்சைட்ஸ் டெஃபினெட்லி வில் ஹவ் லெஸ் ஆக்சஸ் ஸோ ஃபார் ஆல் த ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் லிசனிங் டு திஸ் லெக்சர் இஃப் யூ ஆர் அடிக்டட் டு எனி பிஹேவியரல் அடிக்ஷன்ஸ் ஆர் பான் இஃப் யூ கேன் ஓவர் கம் திஸ் பான் அடிக்ஷன் அண்ட் வித் கிரேட் டிசிப்ளின் டிசிப்ளின் இஃப் யூ ஆர் ஏபிள் டு ஸ்டடி த்ரூ தி இயர்ஸ் இயர் அண்ட் எம்ஜிஎம்சிஆர்ஐ you can definitely achieve your dreams thank you for your patient listening so i think i took almost more than an hour so ungalku romba thoonga vechirpen bored i know human tendency is not to listen to any lecture for more than 40 minutes but innum adutha academic speaker varavillai ungalku you have a session now la oh fine avade en professor solitar தேவையில்லாத விஷயங்கள் எதுவா இருந்தா விட்டுருங்க அண்ட் மை சின்சியர் அட்வைஸ் இஸ் இன்டெலிஜென்ட் ஹெல்தி பிஹேவியர்ஸ் டெல்லிங் வித் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் தட் பான் வாட்சிங் அண்ட் ஆல் தீஸ் ரொம்ப இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங்கா இருக்கும் புதுசா இருக்கும் பட் ஓவர் த இயர்ஸ் 
you will become habituated for that habituated like adu irundha than routine abingiradu so uh, it is always better that you are away from uh, things that affect your normal physical mental and psychological well being if there are any questions i am ready to answer and uh, if you think this lecture did help you and the number ku ninga vandu edavadhu or comment podalam i learned something today illa na chitra vadu panni koduma padithite appdinu podalam ya vaalke appdi tatrupama ninga sonninga sir appdinu podalam ninga sonna mari chinna vayasile enna chinna pinna amma sedachitaanga sir appdinu podalam enna venal podalam so you can note down my number and can you can feel free to text me ask me any query i know there are a lot of pillars of support here in mgm sir dr avad epan dr vimalanathan dr karthik and uh, dr vignesh but idellam taandi if you are still em- embarrassed to consult in your own college the doors of avmch are always open thank you so much thank you so much for your patient listening my sincere thanks to soundarajan sir sir i don't know whether you remember me i was here in 2007 actually so i was just asking karthik sir that uh, sir looks very familiar abdin and again prabhavathi madam i don't know what uh, hair shampoo she uses she remains the same for the last 17 years endha vida maatramum illa fine ah yeah sir was in so i was in avian uh, rmmc so anyway uh, do you have any questions feel free to ask see again enna na uh, all of us have this little hesitancy shame enna na nam idha patti pesna nammala brand panniruvaangalo nammala judge panniruvaangalo problem irukku again i want to tell each and every one of you sitting here if you have any psychological issues problems feel feel free to consult the psychiatrist here in the department you don't have to go all the way to telangana your place to go psychiatrist consult a psychiatrist these people are they great ஓகே ஸோ நம்ம சைக்காட்ரிக் ஓபிடி அட்டன் பண்ணா நம்மளை பிராண்ட் பண்ணிடுவாங்களோ நம்மளை ஜட்ஜ் பண்ணிடுவாங்களோ அப்படிங்கிறது தயக்கத்தை முதல்ல விடுங்க வி ஆர் சோ ப்ரௌட் டு சே தட் வி ஆர் ஐ எம் அ டயபெட்டிக் ஐ எம் அர் ஹைபர்டென்சிவ் எனக்கு ரெண்டு ஸ்ட்ரென்த் வச்சிருக்காங்க அப்படிங்கிறது ரொம்ப பெருமையாக சொல்லுவோம் பட் எனக்கு இந்த ப்ராப்ளம் இருக்குங்கிறத ஒத்துக்க மாட்டோம் இல்லை ஸோ ஃபீல் ஃப்ரீ சி ஆல் தீஸ் சைக்கலாஜிக்கல் இஷ்யூஸ் எவ்ரிபடி கேன் ஹேப்பன் இன்னைக்கு நான் நார்மலாக பேசுகிறேன் அடுத்த லெக்சர் கூட வரும்போது சட்டையெல்லாம் கிழிச்சிட்டு கூட உங்கள் முன்னாடி நின்று நான் பேசலாம் So anything can happen for psychiatrist. So which I want to again tell you is like, you all are in the mind. Psychiatrist one day, they will read our mind. That's it. You know, if you don't know what you want to do in the Tiffin box, you don't know what you want to do in the Tiffin box. So we are also very genuine people. We are like white tigers. Psychiatrists in India are white tigers. We are very less number. So it is your responsibility to take care of us and save us. Thank you so much once again. Thank you, sir, for sharing your knowledge. We now request Dr. Vigneshwar C., Associate Professor, Department of Psychiatry, MGM CRI, to felicitate Professor Dr. John Dinesh, HOD of AVMC. Thank you.
அப்பா என்னப்பா மானோ இங்க வந்திருக்க பசிக்குதா சரி வா கடைக்கு போய் மம்மு வாங்கி தரு காசு <laughs> டேய் என்னடா இங்கே நின்று சீக்கிரம் பிடிச்சிட்டுருக்கிற வாழ்க்கையே கடுப்பாக இருக்குடா காலேஜ் போனால் வாத்தியார் தொல்ல வீட்டுக்கு வந்தால் எங்கள் அம்மா தொல்ல என்ன பண்ணே தெரில வரே கடுப்பாக இருக்குடா அதிகம் என்ன சீக்கிரம் பிடிச்சிருக்கிற அதை விட ஸ்பெஷல் எனக்கு அதை ட்ரை பண்ணு என்ன அது இதாண்டா கூலிப்பு இது நாக்கு அடியில் வை நாக்கு அடியிலையா இதை விட கிக்கா வேற என்ன கிடைக்கும் இது இருக்குது இது இருக்குது சாப்பிடு இன்னும் போதையாக இருக்கும் இன்னும் சந்தோஷமாக இருப்ப நீ சரியா வேற என்ன வேணா சொல்லி எனக்கு கொடுத்து விட்றேன் சரியா மா காசு கேட்டு எங்க காசு கொடு என்னப்பா என்னம்மா உங்ககிட்ட ஒரே இதா இருக்குது காலேஜ்ல காசு கேட்டுக்கறாங்க சும்மா இல்ல இல்லன்னு நகர இப்ப தானப்பா காலேஜ்ல காசு கேட்டாங்கன்னு வாங்கிட்டு போறேன் சரியாதுமா காசு கொடுமா ஃபர்ஸ்ட் நீனே பா என்கிட்ட காசு எல்ல இல்லப்பா மா போமா அக்கா அக்கா ரெண்டு ஃபில்டர் எது புகை நமக்கு பகையா ஐயோ அக்கா அந்த பையன் கீழே விழுந்துட்டான் தம்பி தம்பி என்னாச்சுப்பா இப்ப மனு மனு யாரது அக்கா ஏன்க்கா நெட்ல நீங்க வச்சுக்கிறீங்க அவங்களுக்குறவாயில்ல <laughs> டாக்டர் சொல்றாங்க உனக்கு போத பழக்கலாம் இருக்குன்னு எவ்வளவு நாளாப்பா இருக்கு மறுவாழ்வு மையம்னு ஒண்ணு இருக்குன்னு சொல்றாங்கப்பா மா நான் எங்கயும் வரமாட்டேமா வழி விட மாட்டேன்னு நான் சொல்றதை கேளுப்பா சாம் பொருள் எல்லாம் சொன்னல்ல காமிச்சல்ல என்கிட்ட அத கொஞ்சம் எட்டுனது கூடுறா என்கிட்ட பா இதெல்லாம் வேணாம்ப்பா சொன்னா கேளுப்பா தப்புப்பா இது இதெல்லாம் பண்ண கூடாது இப்ப என்ன தொந்தரவுக்காக வந்திருக்கீங்க கடிமை ஆயிட்ட மேடம் போதை கடிமை ஆகி சிகரெட் பிடிக்கிறது கூலி போடுறது இந்த மாதிரி பழக்கம்லாம் இருந்துச்சு மேடம் இப்ப நடுவில் வரையும் எங்க அம்மா வேற இறந்துட்டாங்க மேடம் ஊர்ல இருக்கவங்க எல்லாமே என்னால தான் இறந்தேன்னு சொன்னாங்க மேடம் ஏன் இறந்தாங்கன்னு தெரியல மேடம் போதையில இருந்து எப்படியாவது வெளில வரணும் மேடம் ஓகேப்பா இப்போ நீங்கள் போதையிலேருந்து ரிலீவ் ஆகணும்னு நினச்சது ரைட் உங்கள் அம்மா இருந்ததுக்கு ரீசன் என்னவா இருக்குன்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அவங்க ரொம்ப பேசிவ் ஸ்மோக்கர்னு சொல்லுவாங்க உங்ககிட்ட இருந்து அதாவது ஸ்மோக்கர் நீங்களாக இருப்பீங்க உங்கள் அம்மாவுக்கு உங்ககிட்ட இருந்து அந்த நச்சுத்தன்மை எல்லாரையும் அக்செப்ட் பண்ணிக்க முடியாது நிகோட்டின் கார்பன் மோனாக்சர் என்ற சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் எல்லாம் ஹியூமன் பாடியால் அக்செப்ட் பண்ணிக்க முடியாது இல்லை நீங்கள் விட்ட புகையினால அம்மாவுக்கு கேன்சர் காஸ் பண்ணியிருக்கலாம் எப்படாதீங்க ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் ப்ராசஸ்க்கு ஒத்துழைப்பு கரெக்டாக கொடுத்து கரெக்டாக ஃபாலோஅப்க்கு வந்தீங்கன்னா போத பழக்கத்திலேருந்து வெளியில் வந்துடலாம் ஆல் இஸ் வெல் கா ஃபில்டர் ரெண்டு புகையில்லா வாழ்வை நோக்கி
எங்களுக்கும் கஷ்டமாக தான் இருக்குக்கா நாங்களும் அதுலேருந்து எப்படி வெளில வர போகிறோம்னு தெரில குடிக்கிறவங்க அவங்கள பற்றி தான் யோசிக்கிறாங்க ஆனால் அதோட இம்பேக்ட் என்னன்னு அவங்க ஃபேமிலி மெம்பருக்கு தான் தெரியும் அதை என்றைக்கி குடிக்கிறவங்க புரிஞ்சுக்கிறாங்களோ அப்போ தான் மற்றவங்க எல்லாருமே நல்லா இருப்பாங்க விடுங்கக்கா நம்ம பார்த்துக்கலாம் நமக்கு இந்த மாதிரி நேரமாக வந்துடக்கூடாது இவங்க ஃபோன் பண்ணலாம் கண்டுபிடி <laughs> 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 நல்லா இருக்கு இனிமே புக் படிக்கிறது ஹாபியாக வச்சுக்கலாம்னு கேட்பேன் போகிறதே தெரிய மாட்டுது இதுக்கப்புறம் புக் படிக்கிறது ஹாபியாக வச்சுக்கலாம் அடிச்சு 
நார்மல் கேர்ஸ் பாருங்கள் அங்கே ஒருத்தர் ஃபோன் பேசிகிட்டு இருக்காங்க கேர்ஸ் இருக்காங்க கேர்ஸ் ஐயோ இந்த நாலு பெஞ்சு ஐயோ டெரர் பீஸாக பெஞ்சுங்க எதுக்கு சிரிக்கிறாங்கன்னே தெரியாது ஒரு சாதம் மொக்க ஜோக்கு அரை மணி நேரம் சிரிப்பாங்க பசங்க சைடு பாருங்கள் பசங்க தான் பசங்க தான் நீங்கள் பெருமையாக சொல்ல ஏதோ பிரச்சனைன்னு போதும் மொதல் ஆளாக வந்து நிற்பானுங்க ஆனால் எதுவும் கேட்க மாட்டாங்க அதை பார்த்தீங்களா சொல்லி மூலம் எப்போ சிரிக்க ஆரம்பிச்சிட்டாங்க இதாங்க நார்மலான கிளாஸ்னால் இப்படி தான் இருக்கும் பொண்ணுங்க <laughs> என்னடா இது அவன் இன்னும் கொஞ்சம் நம்மளோட ஸ்மார்ட்டாக இருக்கான் அவ்வளோதானடா சரி இவனை கூட விட்டுறான்னா பக்கத்தில் இருக்கான் பார்த்தியா ஐயோ ஒரு பொண்ணையும் விடுறது இல்லைடா அவன் சச்ச பிளே பாய்டா என்ன எம்பிபிஎஸ்ஸு பிடிஎஸ்ஸு ஃபிசியோதெரபிஸ்ட்டு என்னடா இது கதையாக இருக்கு நம்மளும் பசங்க தானடா நம்ம என்னடா பண்ணுறோம் ஒருத்தான் <laughs> நீடா <laughs> என்ன <laughs> 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 எப்பா ஸ்மாஷு என்ன நாமக்க இருக்காப்பா நான் அதுவும் அவன் ஃப்ரெண்டு எவ்வளோ பிரச்சனை நடந்துருந்து எனக்கு எங்கே தான் போனேன் தெரில ஆள் திடீர்னு மறைஞ்சி போயிட்டேன் பொண்ணு வந்தோடனே பா பையன் மறந்துட்டான் அந்த கதையெல்லாம் விடு நம்ம கிளாஸில் ஒரு பொண்ணுட்ட பேசுங்க தெரியுமா ஆமாம் அந்த பொண்ணு தான் அது பெரிய கதை போயின்னு இருக்கு ஃப்ரெண்டாக பேசுகிறா ஃப்ளர்ட்லாம் பண்ணுறா திடீர்னு டப்புனு அண்ணன்றா மற்ற பொண்ணுட்ட பேசுனா பொசிசிவ்லாம் ஆகிறா அண்ணன்றா அப்படியே பொசிசிவ் ஆகிறா ஃப்ரெண்டுன்றா ஏன் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸுக்குள்ளே எதுக்கு இந்த ப்ரொசஸ் மிஸ்ஸு தெரியலடா எனக்கு ஸ்மாஷு அவன் என்னை வச்சு டைம் பாஸ் பண்ணுறாளா இல்லைனா அவன் மேலே ரேட்டை அவள் கூட டைம் வேஸ்ட் பண்ணுறானா ஒன்றும் புரிய மாட்டேங்கிறா எனக்கு பைத்தியமே பிடிச்சவங்கள ஸ்மாஷு நீ சொல்கிற மாதிரி தான்டா என்ன பண்ணுறேன்னு எனக்கும் தெரியல இதுதான் எதாவது வழி சொல்லணும் எனக்கு வீடு பார்த்துக்கலான்றியா எனக்கு ரொம்ப நான் தான் அவங்கள அழிட்டாய் டைம் வேஸ்ட் பண்ணுற மாதிரி தோணுதுரா எனக்கு தெரியுங்க சத்தியமாக உங்களுக்கு கதை புரிஞ்சுக்காதுங்க இருங்க நான் சொல்கிறேன் ஏங்க ஒரு பொண்ணு ஒரு லைட்டாக ஸ்லாங்கை மாற்றி பேசினாலே பாய்ஸ் வந்து அடிக்ட் ஆகிடுறாங்க ஃப்ரெண்ட்லியாக தான் பேசுவான் பட் நான் வந்து எல்லோரையும் தப்பாக மெயின் பண்ணல ஸோ இங்கே என்னென்னா கேர்ள்ஸ் அடிக்ஷனும் காமிக்கல நான் இங்கே டைம் வேஸ்ட் தான் காமிக்கிறேன் டைம் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் டைம் கீப்பப் எல்லாருமே இங்கே டைம் தான் வேஸ்ட் பண்ணுறான் இவன் ஸ்மாஷுக்கு ஃபோன் பண்ணி புலம்புறோம் ஆனால் அவனும் டைம் வேஸ்ட் தான் பண்ணுறான் ஸோ அதனால் டைம் இஸ் வெரி ப்ரீஷியஸ் டைம் வேஸ்ட்டிங்கும் ஒரு அடிக் அடிக்ஷன் தான்
இந்த படம் இந்த படத்தில் நடக்கிற நிகழ்வுகள் பெயர்கள் எல்லாம் கற்பனைக்கு I request students to be seated here. Please don't go out. Lunch is being arranged. Lunch is being arranged. So wait for a five minutes. Two to five minutes. So be be seated here. One in eight people live with a mental health condition. Yet, around the world, far too many people cannot access quality mental health care. The barriers to access are many. A lack of available services, poverty, violence, stigma, and discrimination. Some people with mental health conditions, especially from marginalized populations, 
can also face human rights violations, including coercion, abuse, or neglect in care. On World Mental Health Day, WHO calls for mental health to be respected as a human right. We call on all countries to invest in mental health, particularly in community-based services, because there is no health without mental health.
So good afternoon, everyone. So we can start the session in another two minutes. So hope uh, everyone came back, right? So from my from my institute, from the School of Pharmacy, from Allied Health Science. What about MBM Zeri? Thank you. Okay. Welcome back. We request Dr. Karthik, sir, Associate Professor, Department of Psychiatry, to introduce the next speaker of the day. It gives us immense pleasure to invite the next speaker for the day, Dr. Arun Selvaraj, Professor of Psychiatry from Manakula Vinayagar Medical College and Hospitals. Sir has finished his MD in Psychiatry from KMC Manipal. Sir has more than 10 years of teaching experience in psychiatry. He's also been an active member in Board of Studies in Pondicherry University. Sir has a publication record of over 20 research papers in various national and international index journals. He's also the sought after resource person for student mental health, rural mental health activities involving outreach activities. Sir has also given various awareness talks in All India Radio, Doordarshan and local FM channels on student mental health, addiction, suicide prevention, etc. So I invite sir for his speech. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Oh. okay. So good afternoon all. Okay, so thanks for your uh, nice introduction. Karthik. So, first of all, I thank uh, Dr. Robert Apen for giving me this opportunity to talk on World Mental Health Day celebration in MGMC. I do thank uh, management people of MGMC for uh, giving platform for Department of Psychiatry to make such events. So, let's go into the topic. Today, I'm going to talk about interesting topic. So, the topic is interesting. I don't know how interesting I'm going to present today. So it's, let's see. Okay. So I think uh, introduction is not required for smartphone. So most of them assembled here may be having smartphone, right? I think all of you having smartphone. So it is indispensable now for everyday life. Smartphone is inseparable. So now I think we can't live without smartphone. So it has come that way. The growth of smartphone has become enormous so, and it is penetrating at higher level. So each and every individual now having smartphone. So let's see how good things are happening with smartphone. So there are many good things are happening with smartphones. Okay. So that we all know. So with smartphone health, we are socially connecting with people. We are learning many things. And also we are finding our way we are creating accounts. So many things are happening with smartphone. Okay, a lot of good things are there 
in smartphone but at the same time there are other side of the smartphone okay which are causing damages to mainly younger generation okay adult actually they are matured so they know how to handle but younger generation because of their immaturity they are getting into trouble because of smartphone there are maximum goodness with smartphone at the same time there are maximum badness with smartphone but we can't avoid smartphone because it has got some badness we are going to live with smartphone the future very much required smartphone okay so how, how we are going to handle the smartphone and what all the problems we are facing with smartphone those things i am going to talk today okay if you have any doubts you can ask me then and there so everybody knows about it it's not a new thing i am going to talk today so if you want to contribute if you want to comment you are welcome okay i do speak in tamil and english so that uh, if i talk in tamil i can connect with you easily so at times i talk in the regional language and at times english so that overall you can understand what i am going to talk so with that small note we go into the session today so these are the contents today i am going to talk on first uh, small introduction about smartphone addiction and uh, what the statistics says about the smartphone use and uh, next what all the risk factors what put you vulnerable to develop problematic smartphone use and third about the consequences what all happens if you are overusing your smartphone and what all the treatment available for smartphone use overuse and finally i am going to summarize what all i spoke today okay so let's start with the short introduction Smartphones are becoming indispensable for everyday life, so it has become part and part of our life. Okay, everything we thought smartphone help many things we can't do now. So it is helping us in many ways, but because of excessive use of smartphone, we are getting into trouble. And the uh, data says it is more commonly seen in teenagers. Obviously, we know that. teenagers are more commonly using smartphone than adults so and also they frequently changing the mobile one study they have done in smartphone and they have found that the younger generation of frequently want to change the mobile phone they say that it is a status to have a such brand of mobile phone to having this much of applications this kind of features mobile phone okay it has become a brand for them it has become a status for them so which in a in a way it is helping them to increase their self esteem right if i have this smartphone it it gives some pleasure in them so it is increasing their self esteem okay naturally it is happening it's a kind of reward they are getting with smartphone so they have found that approximately 70% of the youth change their smartphone in less than 3 years and 25% of them change it within a year okay they frequently changing the smartphone obviously so many new things are coming up every year every month they are updating the smartphones so actually we eager to get the new one we don't go with the old one so when your friend is having a new mobile phone obviously you want to have that okay if he shows that mobile phone you get attracted you want to have that same phone so again you will go to the home and you will ask your parents to get it so this is what happening okay so what statistics says in india alone smartphone use how much prevalent it is with the recent data i collected look how much it is increasing now 931 million smart users we have currently in india and they are expecting it may reach 1.1 billion plus by 2025 so it has penetrated to 71% only 29% haven't started using smartphone but it has penetrated to 71% i think we are in 2023 that's what the expectation they made so i think now it has reached 71% of the people in india and they have found who are all having problematic smartphone use this is the data about smartphone use how much people are using smartphone use but coming to problematic smartphone use who are using smartphone excessively and getting into the problem so there is data says it is 31% in india if you look at the data india has higher range 
India is 31% are getting into problematic use of smartphone. When you, even in UK, it is only 10%. But when it comes to India, we have 30%. Almost uh, we are near with uh, Korea. So, and they have found that elementary school students began to use smartphone even at the age below 10 years old. And they are spending, 60% are spending around one hour or more per day by the smartphone. I think uh, post COVID, the surge in smartphone use has increased, right? During the COVID time, we started uh, listening to classes through our smartphone. So each and every student wanted to have smartphone. So parents also bought them because they want to learn through smartphone. So all the classes happened through smartphone. I think that's the major thing that has led to this data. Okay, 80% below 10 years started to use smartphone. Maybe due to the COVID, one of the reasons they say, right? And between the two gender, girls have showed higher tendency to have difficulties with smartphone. They are having higher difficulties, psychological difficulties, emotional, social difficulties. So many difficulties are happening more to girls when compared to boys because of smartphone overuse. So approximately 69% of girls, 63% of boys reported having fear of being separated from or not accessing to the smartphone. When they are left out without smartphone, they get the fear, they become anxious, they're getting panic, right? So they are uh, recently also conducting programs, entertainment programs, what's happening in the Vijay TV, you know, okay, like Big Boss. So how you survive without your phone? Okay, so they have made it as a program now. Because without smartphone, it is very impossible. So they are conducting a fun program like Big Boss, how you survive, how your emotion come out when you don't have access to phone or any other connections. Okay, that's the part. So when you look into the boys and girls, what they usually browse? Okay, they have found that most of the adolescents spend time on Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, Insta, and other social media platforms. And boys mainly using for games and videos or music, whereas girls mainly using for texting, chatting, and to develop personal box, okay, and so on. This is the difference they have found in a study. So is excessive use of smartphone and addiction. Can you use the word addiction for smartphone overuse? That itself is a debate. Okay, many are not agreeing with the word addiction to be used for smartphone overuse, right? So right now they have, there is no consens consensus for using the word addiction because you use the word addiction for drug abuse. If you are using excessive amount of alcohol, we say you are addicted to alcohol or you are dependent to alcohol or any other drugs because uh, while Abusing alcohol, you develop physical dependence, psychological dependence, withdrawal symptoms, long-term complications, so many things are there. But those things doesn't fit into smartphone use. So that's why they have, they want to keep the word addiction aside. So they have termed it as problematic smartphone use. That's what we are going to use. We are not going to use the word addiction. So it's kind of problematic smartphone use. And they have given the definition for that. It is a behavior characterized by compulsive use of the device that result in various forms of physical, social, and psychological harm. Okay. So we are going to use the word problematic smartphone use. So how you are going to find out those who are coming under problematic smartphone use? There are various screening materials, tools are available. Okay. So you can Evaluate on your own. There are uh, self administered tools are there. You can download from the net and you can administer that. Whether you have gone into the problematic use or not, right? So they have designed the tools based on amount of hours you spend smartphone, um, how many times you take up the phone to look into the apps. Okay. And uh, that is not enough actually. Only if you go with hours, if you are using your screen time is four hours in a day, that doesn't mean that you are you are coming into the category of problematic use. So they, what they have mentioned, you have to use the motivation and also gratification 
along with that to determine the problematic smartphone use okay it's not only based on hours because some people use the smartphone for learning purpose okay for official work they do in the smartphone so just by the number of hours we can't make they are having problematic use so you have to look for the motivation the gratification those things are also taken into consideration right so these are the some of the scales you can browse in the net you can get it you can do it on your own or you can ask your friends and you can evaluate okay i think maybe some people here may be having that problematic use okay you can find out by using these scales so many scales are there so smartphone addiction inventory smartphone addiction scale both long version long and short version so many are there this nomophobia is nothing but no mobile phobia okay that's a short form no mobile phobia whether they have got that without mobile phone whether they become anxious they develop fear that is called nomophobia questionnaire okay some interesting name so i have displayed one scale you can go through that it's a short version of smartphone addiction scale okay it is uh, given in likert scale so strongly disagree strongly agree the higher score is 60 and the lower score is uh, obviously 10 if you are moving on beyond 30 then you are at the verge of going into problematic use of smartphone right beyond 30 they have set a limit so what it says missing planned work due to smartphone use okay because of smartphone use you are giving importance to smartphone use not for other work so missing other work okay having hard time concentrating in class doing assignment while working due to smartphone use okay even in now some people are using smartphone right you can't listen to the class continuously on and off you keep checking your phone whether i am receiving any calls messages any updates how many likes i have got in my insta so many things right so you can apply this scale on yourself and you can find out or you can ask your friends to do that so coming to the risk factor risk factor in the sense the cause why you are becoming vulnerable to go into state of problematic use so what could be the reason behind that because many people are using smartphone but only some are going into problematic use so why they are vulnerable to go into that state that i am going to discuss now okay so there are several reasons leading to problematic smartphone use among children and adolescents although risk factor remain debatable so it is mainly interplay between the it's not single factors leading to problematic use there are multiple factors environmental factors psychological factors family factors and social factors so interplay between these factors make you vulnerable to develop problematic smartphone use right any doubts you have anything you want to say you can share with me so i have given four factors which may be which may put you at risk of developing smartphone abuse one is environmental factors family environment psychological factors and social factors so we go, we see everything in detail so starting with the environmental risk how the environmental putting at, at risk for going into smartphone abuse so definitely we are living in a digital world so so much of technology are coming up so you want to keep you updated so without smartphone you can update yourself so if you want to compete with the others you should know some technology right so which you get easily through your smartphone okay so obviously we go into the use of smartphone we can't uh, go out of it we have to use it because of high technology to update yourself to compete as with others to live in this world we need this technology right so rapid growth of social networking services mobile phone applications have promoted the extensive use of smartphones for everything we have smartphone uh, applications now mobile applications for each and everything how to drink water you can have some applications so for everything 
to do your physical activities for monitoring that okay how much food i have to take how much calorie i have to take today everything you get in the apps okay so for each and everything for your daily living also you start to look for smartphone how much calorie i have burned today so you look for that you can check your heart rate you can check your oxygen rate so everything you get it in hand okay so um, nowadays you are getting high speed network recently they launched 5g 5g plus so many things are you are getting earlier it takes long time to install you have to wait 10 15 minutes for a app to download or whatever now it it gets in minutes in seconds you get everything okay high speed internet social networking services lot of applications and they have found that social apps and gaming app are strong predictive factor of smartphone overuse okay mainly social media apps for girls and gaming apps for boys in general i'm saying these are the more predictive factor for smartphone overuse i think many are addicted to games we do get lot of patients with the gaming addiction recently they are mainly involved in free fire okay you might have heard about blue whale one gaming app which led many adolescent to suicide so many people committed suicide when they were going through the app they were doing the task whatever the app says okay finally they they do committed suicide also so that much they involved in that okay so another thing easy accessibility very handy you can ca carry that anywhere and you can look into that at any time earlier we had computers laptops those things are very hard to carry very big one we can't open it everywhere okay it won't be comfortable also you need some charging point but mobile you can have battery for 2 3 days you can roam anywhere you do have power banks if it is draining you can use the power bank okay so easy accessibility easy to handle easy thing to handle so so many things have made the smartphone use at risk for developing excessive use so environmental factors we are done with so we can't escape from the environmental factor next comes the family risk factors some things happening in the family also put adolescent at risk for developing problematic use okay i think post lunch session most of them are very sedative i can understand that okay but uh, it's important topic i think you want to know about it because you people are very vulnerable to develop uh, this kind of problem so just look into that if you have any doubts you can keep asking the parenting style so the role of parents are very important okay so two types of parenting style have found to be put the individual vulnerable one permissive parents and less authority parents so permitting everything okay they don't put any demands they don't put any control over you sometimes you decide everything parent listen to you that sort of parenting should not happen parents has to say and you have to listen that's the good way of parenting even for choosing small things toys or dresses so they decide on their own okay we give it to them so we give the decision making to the young child so what happens when they grow up they decide everything they they want any and phone they have to get it whatever they want they have to get them okay so they permit everything for them so that put the adolescent at risk for developing overuse of smartphone so they are tend to have poor control in controlling the impulse and self regulation hence vulnerable to problematic smartphone use and second less authoritative patient who can't supervise or rational attachment predispose adolescent to problematic use who can't take command role okay who can't be authoritative to the child those child also vulnerable to develop problematic smartphone use so these two type of parenting style should be avoided because it start from the family right uh, only after the family you come to the society you see your friends and you start to use but if you if it comes from the family there itself this restriction starts and it may put you is a not for not developing that next domestic violence and abuse 
if the family environment if you see a lot of conflicts happening between the parents or any other domestic violence and abuse some adolescents or child children are subjected to abuse physical verbal or emotional neglect sexual abuse so many things so those also put the individual vulnerable to go for the smartphone use so uh, what happens there to compensate the lack of interpersonal relationship so they are not able to connect with the parents parents are not talking to the children amma vandu akra edum kekkiradilla pesiradilla enna pandra edu pandra nu edum kekkiradilla okay because they are engaged in the conflicts in the family family prachanaiye avanga solandittu irukanga so they are not spending time with you so then where will you go you are not getting that affection or whatever so you go to the smartphone so anga rendu per sanda potittu paanga keela phone kadakum so automatically you pick up the phone right so to compensate the lack of interpersonal relationship to maintain emotional closeness idu why if you open the smartphone you have lot of apps you get, immediately you get friends if you send a request uh, at once you get the reply okay accepted then you start chatting okay so such kind of fraction of second you get a friend but how long it is going to last we don't know but some kind of social connectedness you get so that's one of the reason so to compensate lack of interpersonal relationship that's the important thing next to distract so you don't want to involved in that so many chaos are happening in the family okay frequently they are getting into arguments conflicts fight okay you are not getting any peace in the family some may nuclear family or joint family so many things are happening there so to distract from that you go into the smartphone so getting distracted from existing family problems you move to the smartphone that's one of the reason second coping mechanism so you may also get stressed out of it todandu prachanigal irundikitte irukka pa definitely it affects you you do go down okay so to get some entertainment where do we go so at the time we have in hand our phone so we move to the phone so it's a kind of coping mechanism to relieve stress to cope up with stress some people choose smartphone and other thing is to get pleasure or obviously we get lot of entertainments lot of so many apps are there fun filling apps okay so to get pleasure we go to the smartphone because the family where you are living it is not congenial okay congenial relationship is not happening you are not having a good environment in the family so automatically you want to distract you want to compensate you want to cope up and you want to get pleasure so everything you get in the smartphone so family environment is one of the risk factor to put the individual to develop problematic smartphone use but is it giving a solution definitely not so you are escaping from the problems and getting into the smartphone but is it going to relieve your stress definitely not when you continuously use some smartphone i am going to talk about that what happened the consequences definitely you will land up in other problems right the third risk psychological risk which individuals are vulnerable to develop problematic use so generally we know adolescents they are uh, they want to explore many things they want to see new things okay they are playful they want to get interacted these are the general behaviors of all adolescents okay risk taking la romba pidikum avangal anything new thing they want to know okay so those behavior also put them at risk for problematic use okay high tendency to engage in risk taking explorative novelty seeking social interaction play behavior enable to mark maturation and dependence so those behavior also put them at risk so they want some change diversity intensity of stimulation can easily fulfilled with smartphone use so second one is checking behavior one i said about the general behavior of adolescents that explorative novelty seeking behavior put them at risk second checking behavior okay they want to keep checking that also leads them to develop smart uh, problematic use so repeatedly they check 
even while go to the sleep they go to the sleep but they keep on checking the phone i am receiving any notification any call any messages so once they start seeing the home screen they move on to the other app so what has come in the insta what has come in the facebook okay once you move to the insta you get lot of reels you keep moving sorry so i am getting distraction right <laughs> okay so keep checking for messages any notifications so once you start checking you move on to other app okay let me see the insta what's happening there so let me get into the facebook so one lead to the other so it will run like a chain so checking behavior put you at risk for developing problem and certain personality traits they have found who are at risk of developing problematic use in the personalities irukravanga in the traits irukravanga they are highly vulnerable to develop problematic use okay only loneliness those who are at loneliness those don't have any companion okay thanimai vande or periya risk factor thaniya irukrappa kai la phone irukna automatically we start using the phone okay when you don't have a companion when you are alone so loneliness some people prefer loneliness they want to be alone okay they enjoy being alone so those people they can't connect with people so they are though those people are at risk of developing problematic use so loneliness one of the personality trait put you vulnerable second shyness so they want to interact but because of the shy type they may be very shy and how to speak okay how they understand me so so many things may run in their mind so they avoid social interaction okay so they don't want to get in touch with people actually they want to touch with people because of shyness what to speak how to behave what may they think of me so some kind of embarrassing feel they may get so because of that they get into the smartphone and another low self esteem who have low self esteem lack of confidence okay that also put them at risk an extrovert and narcissistic we just see in small detail so loneliness and shyness predispose individuals to develop dependence so mainly for social communications these people they don't go to the people to connect okay because of the shyness because they prefer loneliness they don't want to interact so they get into the social media apps in the phone they can easily connect in there so face is not required just by chatting you can connect with people okay you can mask your face or you can filter your face so many things you can do right so through apps you can do that so you can make you beautiful okay whatever way you can represent you in the apps so that way it is helping for people with attitude of loneliness and shyness okay here uh, if you want to talk you want to know the what word i have to utter what next i have to speak so many things you have to run in your mind but here you have time you can slowly think and type okay if you have received a message to reply the message you can slowly think and type you can edit you can delete whatever thing you can do okay now whatsapp they have come with the new options even after sending the message you can delete it after some time okay so that gives you more space to interact it has put you ease to interact so you don't make mistakes so directly talking to people you may make mistakes so you feel embarrassed so you don't go and talk next but here that those things never happen okay so those are having these kind of traits are highly vulnerable to develop problematic use loneliness and shyness and of course low self esteem those who are lacking confidence and those who are highly anxious people also vulnerable to develop problematic use next two traits that is totally opposite of this okay these guys are very extrovert they keep talking to the people there is no hesitancy in talking to the people okay so they also prefer smartphones so typically like to socialize and share with the peers to gain pleasure and gratification thus increase the use of smartphone so to get more and more pleasure they use smartphone because in uh, real setting they can get friends two three friends but in virtual settings you can get lot of number of friends those who are extrovert they can't uh, sit idle they want to keep interacting with people 
so they chat they talk whatever they do so in other way so one extreme loneliness shyness low esteem in other extreme extrovert also more prone to go into smartphone use okay another trait is narcissistic okay self love they say they love themselves more than others okay they appreciate themselves they don't need other compliments they themselves uh, praise themselves okay they proud of themselves so always show a grandiose sense of self importance and self promotions they want to promote themselves okay so such individuals provide a vehicle to help them to promote themselves on social media chinna da edu pannalume odane facebook la potruvanga avanga status la potruvanga today i gave a talk so they displayed in the status okay so they want to keep promoting them even small thing they might have done they want to put it in the facebook so if they give if they get some likes they feel proud they expect more likes from others okay so narcissistic social extrovert in other extreme introvert extrovert both are vulnerable to develop problematic use so coming to social risk so social factors which may put you at risk one is school environment obviously we are in college okay so we form groups to we form whatsapp group facebook group so many things we form we actually start for academic purpose but later we use it for other purpose also so we play in group right some kids uh, i think free fire they play in groups okay so this is called cyber loafing we start for academic purpose but we use it for non academic activities that's what happen in schools okay so then lack of peer support and need for belonging if you don't have friends okay but you want to get friends so you can go through go to the smartphone and social media apps low satisfaction with offline interpersonal relationship if they are not satisfied with the offline relationship so they go for the online relationship and lower level of social support those who don't have adequate support system okay they may be living in home or they may be alone they may be taken care by step mother or in wherever they are brought up okay so those who have got lower social support are also prone to develop problematic use so they are also vulnerable to cyber attack and cyber victimization so these people are more vulnerable for cyber attack also they may be cheated okay they may become victim okay so, so many things are happening you might have seen in newspaper how many cyber attack cyber victimization some people have lost their money okay some people have lost their relationship so many things are happening okay so these are the social factors lack of peer support lack of social support a low satisfaction with the offline relationship and school or college environment also put you at risk for problematic use so we are done with the risk factors okay so we have discussed some of the risk factors which put you at risk for problematic use psychological factors we discussed social factors and environmental factors and family factors also we discussed so now you have become a problematic user you are keep on using the mobile phone what will happen that we are going to discuss next okay so what are the consequences definitely it affects the brain no other thinking so everybody knows that it affects the brain so keep on seeing the smartphones the rays are entering your brain you are fully preoccupied right so definitely it affects the brain function and it also put you vulnerable to develop psychiatric conditions and some social risk also you develop so let's see in detail what all happens to your brain your psychological apparatus and your social thing so neurological consequences obviously i said it affects your neural brain they have found that one of the neurotransmitters brain lot of chemicals are there so definitely the imbalance in the chemicals happens when you are exposed continuously to a smartphone the brain chemicals will get imbalanced okay one of the major transmitter affected is gaba so it leads you to poor attention you can't attend to any activity if you are ready, reading a paragraph na you can't be attentive continuous of 5 years you are exposed to mobile phone 
then because parents are scolding you are going to take the book or konja nerna you can't be attentive okay once attention is lost your memory is lost so when memory fades na then your decision making planning executive function everything will get affected okay but step by step ba over function may affect out when your attention is lost definitely when you are not able to attend you can't remember what you have read the memory will go off then you can't make any decision you can't make a plan you can't execute any activities so one by one will get affected if you are continuously exposed to mobile phone and obviously your vision okay i have mentioned here definitely vision is getting affected even small children small kids are uh, bearing specs today because of continuous use of mobile phone okay so vision vision also part of uh, neurological apparatus so vision is getting up, uh, affected so due to neurological immaturity uh, adolescent become more dependent here you get uh, instant reward in smartphone but in reality you don't get instant reward you have to wait for the reward so that itself puts you vulnerable okay and also it affects the neural circuit not only neurochemicals neural circuit also affected when you are continuously exposed to smartphone okay it affects your decision making impulse control your emotions everything are affected so these things happen at minor level you don't see an obvious lesion in the brain if you take a ct scan you don't see any lesion at all it comes normal but micro level damage keeps happening you may not realize that now but in later age you will realize okay you may find difficult to organize any things you may find difficult to plan you may find difficult to memorize this may happen when you get older okay so beware of that okay from now you start uh, start reducing using the mobile phone so a lot of researches are going on so later they may come with what all the minor changes happening in the brain so what happens to your mental apparatus when you are continuously exposed to smartphone so you become very anxious so you want to check the messages and notification which increase the personal distress okay even while sleeping you don't sleep well your sleep is disturbed because you are in your subconscious you are thinking about the call you want you are maybe expecting some call from your loved one okay expecting messages or expecting so many likes or you want to put any status in the insta so so many things you are expecting and you are waiting for that so for that you are giving some some activity to the brain you are not going to deep sleep so brain won't sleep completely the sleep pattern will get disturbed okay so slowly the, when the sleep is impaired most of your activities will get impaired it affects both mental and physical health so some uh, we have seen some patients have developed psychiatric disorders like social anxiety disorders depression impulsivity loneliness attention deficit problems okay we are seeing in our practice daily those who are subjected to smartphone use are coming with a lot of psychiatric conditions right so some in other way also it is happening the adolescent with the depression using smartphone to mitigate the depressive symptoms to overcome the depressive symptoms they are using it as a coping strategy so using smartphone in that sense but it's not going to help them it's go actually going to worsen the depression so they are finding some way to reduce the stress to come out of depression but it's actually it worsen the depression so don't think it is a a kind of medication to prevent you from stress actually it worsen the stress in you it may help temporarily but in long term it affects your mental health so they have done a study it's not my saying they have done a trend study and proved that it is high people are at risk for developing depression in us they have done a study including 126 adolescents those who are exposed to phone for longer time and they have found they have scored higher in depression right so they are seeking companion in virtual environment may develop depression or being more depressed so either way it may occur when you are exposed to the smartphone long time you are prone to develop depression in your depression also you may go for smartphone use 
so in uh, finally you develop a maladaptive coping strategy it's not a good way of coping with the smartphone you develop maladaptive coping with the smartphone use so what happened in social sector okay so your physical health is affected your mental health is affected and and your social factors also getting affected because of continuous use of smartphone okay what happens you may land up in any accident or injury you see people using smartphone while driving while walking okay whatever activities they are doing they keep the smartphone side okay so that may definitely put them at risk of accidents so many are reported now you can see the newspapers okay a lorry driver picking over the phone killed someone okay it's not you are only you are affecting you are also killing others right so road traffic injuries pedestrian collisions falls increase the incidence of smartphone users talking texting listening to music while on the road and other they have reported one in three adolescents 16 to uh, around 16 to 17 reported they texted while driving so most of the adolescents are using smartphone while driving even uh, not only in the car even in the bike okay you might have seen you when you go towards pondicherry you see many adolescents or young generation people carrying smartphone and uh, talking over the phone and driving the bike right those are highly hazardous so in korea they did a study and they found it is increased 1.9 times over four years among pedestrian to use smartphone while walking they are keep on using the smartphone they are we are not making eye contact we are not looking at the people what is happening around we are not looking at we are just uh, involving ourselves in a fantasy world that's what happening so so many social distraction disaster are happening because of that so they have used used the word zombie so those who are using mobile phone while doing other activities are called a zombie okay it is the zombie and smartphone combined word okay resulting in failure to focus on anything else that increase risk of accidents okay this is a new term they introduced it's in korea zombie so one direct impact social you are going it from you are getting into accidents indirectly also it affects so selfie when you are taking selfie when you are doing live streaming okay you put yourself at risk so you have seen many people died while taking selfie in the running train in the running bike okay at the edge of the mountain so when they try to take selfie they fell right and they fell and died immediately so live streaming also a very dangerous activity sometimes they do perform some vulgarity and obscenity in the live streaming video which puts them at risk so these are all the social risk social consequences while using excessive use of cell phone so many were found to be between 11 and 23 the live streamers so we see in insta reels right so many live streaming keep on going on okay so when they want to ext get extra thrill initially you find them giving a normal reels but when they get more likes and they get more attention to get or to seek more attention they start into high risk behavior they develop themselves into high risk behavior right so finally come to the treatment part okay we are done with the risk factors we are done with what all happens when you are continuously using smartphone finally treatment that's the important thing right so various i have put a list of treatment in that first is very important self awareness and self control so it is you are it is in your hand to control the smartphone use so it is the most effective awareness is self awareness you have to aware how i am using how much time i am using how to control that okay you have to set a limit so today i can use smartphone for entertainment just for an hour for academic purpose for another hour okay then you have to keep it uh, away i should not use it for long time okay so that is very important if you are motivated you can easily come out of it 
okay if i say if i am giving advice for one hour after some time you again you are going to take the phone so that's not going to help it's you come within you neengala manasu vecha da maatha mudiyum thiradana ipa thirada thirunda vendral thirade thirukka mudiyadhu ma illaya so it should come from within you you should know how much it is affecting my health then you have to take some strategy i am not saying you should throw off your smartphone you should not use that smartphone at all you should know how much amount i should use you should know the limit of using smartphone i uh, as i said already we can't live without smartphone smartphone is must nowadays but how to use it it has lot of good things okay at the same time some bad things also happening so aware of it and use it accordingly so keep it away remove the apps which uh, actually tempting you to go repeatedly so remove those apps and limiting service monitoring usage setting notifications some many apps are there how much time you have used now okay so one thing you have to restrict yourself suppose if you are not able to restrict yourself there are other involuntary restrictions right i am not able to control on myself so what can be done so what are the indirect way to restrict yourself from smartphone one there are two approaches one is traditional approach parents has to take care of you they have to take the control of using smartphone other one is innovative approach there are lot of apps are there okay one of the famous app is app detox okay you can download this app and it monitors you it monitor your usage okay how much time you are spending on one particular app okay so overall it monitors and it gives you some feedback also and it won't allow you to use at a, some it allows you to use only at particular time these are the class hours na it won't allow it won't open at all okay so indirectly it may help you to restrict your but we can uh, remove this app also you can start using but to an extent it may help your motivation is the first thing going to help you the second thing if you are not able to control you need some restriction from other side you can go for this kind of app so many apps are there in the net you can look for which restrict your streaming or mobile activities right so this is a one app actually they did for the study purpose any the no use is good use so it is kind of group intervention app so what i said is a single intervention you have to install yourself you have to restrict your activity these things uh, they have formed a group who have got problematic use with the smartphone okay so they installed this app so everyone get in touch with each other so today i have limited my uh, activity to this extent okay so when there is other guy to motivate or give feedback the definitely it will reflect in you also okay when he has attained a good level of activity then you also tend to do that okay so group based intervention it is this not single intervention they do it comparison study with single intervention and they have found good outcome with group based intervention this thing you can do it along with your friends okay you can have the app or can you can share with others okay today i have exposed to only this much of activities my screen time is only 1 hour today okay you can form a group and you can do this kind of activity so it involves self monitoring goal setting social learning and competition so no use is good use and these are the other apps for android and ios okay which screen your which monitor your smartphone use right which also restrict you from using app at certain time or also restrict you using from certain apps for child lock also available okay so many things are there parental control okay family time screen time control app you can download this and you can use it if you feel that you are over using your smartphone okay so there are some uh, information and computer technology systems are there okay it is also useful to provide objective assessment and intervention okay it gives you all the data it is uh, some uh, phones are coming with this kind of symptoms 
okay you can go to the setting and you can look how much hours i have used what all the apps i have used so everything you get in assessment it gives it also gives the feedback so monitoring transmission archiving analysis and feedback procedures two systems are available one is smartphone addiction management system other one is smartphone over dependence management system okay so these are important so if you find anyone having addiction or problematic use with that phone then you can use these kind of systems these are technology okay so these are indirect way of restricting ourselves from mobile use so next one is traditional approach okay so traditional approach is uh, in the hands of your parents i said permissive parent less authority parents put the uh, individual vulnerable to develop smartphone use so in other hand authoritative parents okay are able to perceive the severity of threat and thus more readily engage in parental mediation role so they put the restrictions you should use only one hour today okay if you are using if you are exceeding the time they take out the phone from you right so stick to parents are very important in controlling your phone activity but these things are nowadays not happening because children are taking control of the parents okay that's the major hazard happening putting more adults in at risk of developing smartphone overuse so they set the restriction they set the boundaries sensible expectation so everything they do so you just follow the parents command and parents also have to be a role model so you see some parents they may advise not to use smartphone but they keep using the smartphone for long time okay that won't help right solravanga adukku vande opt a irukum apdi illana adu kandipa child affect pannum so they have to be a role model appa appa ma paatha child learn many behaviors right okay if they set a role model then child behave in the same way so it will help okay they have some four strategies they have put out one instructive instruction giving instructions setting rule and usage checking they have to keep checking your mobile okay what you are looking for and they have also put some filters okay child lock so many filters are there so these things for parents okay these four things they have to follow one they have to keep giving instructions one setting rules and usage checking how much you have used and content filtering what all apps you can access what you should not access okay so children going under these kind of parents may not go for problematic use right that's a traditional approach so and school and college also have role in controlling students to you avoid smartphone use okay in the school campus definitely they should not have smartphone in college example they should have restrict the smartphone okay there are some rules in every colleges okay don't bring in smartphone okay and if you if you are staying in hostel you are allowed to use smartphone only till 9 o'clock so many rules and regulations are there that puts you under restrictions so they can establish policy to monitor or ban the use of smartphone so students and authorities of school should raise awareness this is also a kind of awareness activity i should appreciate uh, the department of psychiatry this is a kind of awareness activity okay at least something you learn from there okay at least if you reduce half an hour to one hour also it will be helpful for you so and educate them on healthier activities how to discipline on smartphone use and you should not over emphasize only on harmful consequences okay it has got one not only harmful consequences it also has some good thing so those things also have to be highlighted so finally coming to the professional health okay when you are done with everything and you are still not able to control the smartphone use okay then you can take the professional help we are there to help you to come out of smartphone overuse so mainly therapy simply i want i don't want to explain all these therapies it won't be useful for you people but you can overall name it as a counseling so there are different structured counseling we apply to help you to come out of smartphone overuse okay 
லைக் ஆர்ட் காக்னேட்டிவ் பிஹேவியர் தெரப்பி இன்டெகிரேட்டிவ் ஆர்ட் தெரப்பி மோட்டிவேஷனல் இன்டர்வியூ குரூப் தெரப்பி எக்ஸசைஸ் ரீஹாபிலிட்டேஷன் இன் சோ ஆன் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் வாண்ட் ஹைலைட் அபவுட் த மைண்ட் ஃபுல்னஸ் பேஸ்ட் காக்னேட்டிவ் பிஹேவியர் தெரப்பி ஓகே so it is a form of meditation that involves engaging fully directed active awareness of internal experience when you know yourself when you assess yourself inside you get some uh, idea how to control yourself okay some people they can't even control their own emotions so that thing you will learn by doing mindfulness okay we have all emotions we know when to laugh when to cry okay when to shout when to feel insulted or oh, so many emotions are coming up in you you know how to control that in the same way you should learn how to control your uh, smartphone use also when you are able to control your emotions automatically you can control whatever you are using so those things you can learn by doing mindfulness the substitution of addictive behaviors is meditation cultivation of compassion help you can seek help from others to control your emotions shifting focus to life and priorities what is important for my life not the smartphone so you have a lot to do you have to prepare for your exam but you are working in the smartphone so which is priority now that you have to learn so reduce salience and improve your patience so simple way of doing mindfulness is breathing exercise okay you can get it in the net how to develop mindfulness exercise rehabilitation if you are loan using smartphone for long time it also affect your you might have heard about texting neck right so it may affect your neck hands vision everything so it helps to recover from musculoskeletal condition like carpal tunnel syndrome stiff neck back ache poor posture chronic pain fatigue or other neurological and metabolic conditions this is called exercise rehabilitation it not only focus on neurological or musculoskeletal factor it also focus on psychological factors like uh, increasing your resilience by feeling confidence and happiness and so on i don't want to detail about each therapy but there are lot of therapies are available just keep it in mind suppose if you are not able to control on yourself you can seek the professional help right so finally i am coming to the summary of the session smartphone have brought much convenience to humanity and become indispensable in our daily life so excessive use definitely it affects physical psychological and social well being so the problem arises because of the interplay between the psychological environmental and technological factor it is not a single factor putting you at risk multiple factors are playing role to put you at risk so there are treatments available mainly psychosocial treatment as i said counseling therapies are available so you do get some external support from school parents and using advanced technology which i described okay so i have come to the end of the session any doubts or clarifications any comments thank you வெரிஸ்டாண்ட்ரி no especially the non authoritative parents okay uh, how to handle in this issues that we have to parental training we have to do okay, okay. so those thing we have to address the parent if you see the even child adults, with the problematic use even adults will understand those issues yeah. and all but mainly in child below 10 mm. from age 3 they are using uh, yeah yeah it's happening so uh, you know very well that uh, parents are more dependent on children children are more dependent on for the smartphones so what is the any special behavior uh, the, like uh, techniques uh, that's why if you are seeing any the parents usually bring the child with the problematic smartphone use we don't only talk to the child we mainly talk to the parents okay by adjusting by tuning the parents also we can indirectly help the child to come out of uh, 
so there are uh, certain therapy for parental training also okay how to parent the the parenting style we teach them this kind of permissive because nowadays many people are listening to the children that should not happen yes so they have to take the decision at certain age they have to take the decision then they can leave it to the child to i mean adolescent to take this okay. okay so the parenting style have to be taken into consideration and we have to work on that okay for child health i think they are ready to change if they have conflicts in the home that also affects the child to go for smartphone so that has to be addressed okay the child may be the index patient but problem may be somewhere else so that has to be addressed it's not only counseling the child or adolescent for the therapy we do have to take into consideration of the parental skill or whatever conflicts going on in the session about more details sir Mm. But, uh, we expected some techniques that uh, if you now explain about those other techniques, it will be more effective. I think. I don't think time may permit. I understand. Yes. So many therapies are there. One of the effective therapies, cognitive behavioral therapy (CBT), we apply. Okay, you know that. Fine. Okay, that where we uh, take into cognition part the thoughts and also the behavior. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Number. Thank you, sir, for your valuable information. We now request Dr. Sardish Pandian, sir, Senior Resident, Department of Psychiatry, NGMCRI, to felicitate Dr. Arun Selvaraj, sir, Professor and Head of the Department, SNVMCH. We now request Dr. Karthik, sir, Associate Professor, to introduce the next speaker of the day. Thank you. It is an honor to invite the next speaker of the day, Dr. Madan, uh, who is a Professor of Psychiatry in Vengadeshwara Medical College, our mentor in PG days. Thank you. Thank you. He has finished his MBBS from AVMC Puducherry and he has finished his MD from Chalmera Anand Rao Institute of Medical Sciences in Andhra Pradesh. Sir has been a resource person for uh, trainers who have been involved in national tobacco control program and prevention activities. He has published over 20 research papers in various national and international journals. And also he is an important resource person for various state level and regional level student mental health DMHP related awareness programs. And uh, it's a pleasure to invite you, sir. Please. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. Uh, good afternoon. I don't know whether to say it good afternoon, good evening, or like it, it is high time, isn't it? So I'll not take much of your time. I know already you are all so tired, intoxicated with food, isn't it? So, yes. So we'll have a very brief session, not a very detailed one. It is only about how to tackle it. Okay. So before we venture into it, uh, what is this self-help? It is for addiction, isn't it? So what is this self-help? It is to control yourself before you become fully addicted to it. Okay. So before you seek medical help, but where you can't live with a substance, 
you control yourself isn't it so that is what the whole concept self help is about so before you develop in uh, full blown withdrawal uh, withdrawal reaction before the point you have to be admitted to an hospital the way it, these are techniques where you can control yourself okay so before we venture you tell me what is addiction we talk a lot from morning we have been talking about addiction isn't it what is this addiction anyone who can say what addiction means so the most important thing here is it's a chronic brain disease no longer addiction is considered to be a behavioral problem or palakathnal ipi aitan friends la sendu kedutranga avana illa we have a lot of things regarding this isn't it we often accuse others for addiction okay but remember addiction is not a behavioral problem it is nothing to do with culture it is nothing to do with availability it is nothing regarding the environment around it is more to do with our own self so why is it called a chronic brain relapsing brain disease because we are born with this most of the time this addiction we are it runs in families it is not just acquired see i my family has a very strong predilection for addiction all my grandfathers died of alcoholism so it is not just because of a behavioral problem they acquired the disease it is inherited we are we it runs in families we genetically get the disease uh, i think your uh, morning session they would have told you like we have reward circuit those things and that is where the problem comes in normally when we take chocolate or eat biryani we get happy isn't it but when a person who has addiction takes that he will not get the same reward as we get for trivial things he needs high intensity reward and that is what this illness is and it is a relapsing illness that means there will be lot of relapses whatever you treat the patient, there is a high chance patient can go back to the substance so your treatment has to be consistent and continuous so that is what this addiction is so you just take it to your heart addiction is not a behavioral problem it's an inherited disease a genetic disease so now we will come to self help so it is to help yourself before you become fully addicted to it fully where you might warrant okay uh intervention okay so self care is actually taking care of your physical and mental health on a daily basis so that you can feel and perform your best this is particularly crucial when you are in a recovery phase of substance use or where you can come out of uh, the thing by your own self okay and with self care you can nurture your mental and physical health so that you will reduce the chances of turning to drug or alcohol again okay okay so why should i need this thing why should i need self uh, we have so many hospitals we have psychiatry department okay they can very well take care of it why should i need a self help why should i take care of myself see the prevalence of uh, substance use is around 31% with 80% being males so among college students the prevalence of substance use is around 31% what does it translates into every one person among three is a, a substance user so if you count one two three the third person is a substance user so that is the enormity of the problem we are facing it's a huge problem to tackle isn't it most of them we don't even know that they are taking substance like and we are not just about substance now our ambit of addiction has moved beyond just substance alone we have moved towards behavioral addiction one of the addiction is smartphone addiction which is a real threat isn't it a lot of you might be knowingly or unknowingly having this addiction so that is why this self care comes into play self help we can't uh, treat the whole lot like if it is uh, i think you are 200 of you here isn't it if you take 30% it is around 60 of you whom i should be treating that's the enormity isn't it i can't treat uh, 16 in each batch isn't it that's too huge a population that means your psychiatry department will be overwhelmed isn't it so so that is why we have to have this kind of a therapy where before you become totally uh, addicted you can use certain techniques to cut down your addiction or to tackle your addiction that is called self care okay so this will be the overview of what i am going to talk about okay already we have crossed through in uh, 
certain things. Now we will move on one by one. Okay. So what is introspection? You would all have gone through inspection, isn't it? What is introspection? We uh, have a inspection every six months or one month, uh, one year. I think that's a bit less in your institute, isn't it? But we can't escape, isn't it? We know in inspection. What is introspection? What does that word mean? It is inspecting your own self, isn't it? It is looking back into yourself. What should I do to introspect? How may how should I introspect myself? What will be the ways I can introspect? What should I? We can do it for multiple purposes. If we can, if it is for addiction, what should be my introspection? Most of our time we will be in denial, isn't it? That's not going to help. For example, I will take uh, studies. Okay, if you have exams and you have to read. Only when you start thinking that I sh I am not reading and I should be reading, that is the point where you will start reading. Till the moment you start implicating others for that, you will not read at all. Illa, yena fan illa, yesi illa, room illa, illa yena friend ya arnan thambi yaru padi gorda matenge rangenge. Inda moka kala jale set pangga adanal dana padi matenge na. Yena yena BBS le interest illa. We have a lot of things, isn't it? Rather than telling all these things. If you start reading, see, I haven't put in efforts yet, and I have to put efforts. That is the point of introspection. That is where you will start working towards the problem. It is the same thing with addiction. Rather than implicating other things for your addiction, like stress and other things, the point you realize that I might be having a problem with the substance or behavior. That is the point of introspection. That is where you start realizing that you might be having a problem. Okay, why should I do it? Because only then we'll start working on it. Now, if a particular one, I know, at the point when I am studying, I am not going to do it. No, that one or the other thing I am not going to do. I will keep on accusing others. I will show my fear as anger. I will not start working on it. Okay. So, if you have to really work on your problem, the first thing you have to do is to introspect yourself, look back into yourself. Okay. And the question what you are going to ask is, am I an addict? Can I be an addict? Is there a way like you cannot be an addict? Whatever you do, and now like and if I addict tag mata, abdi na agar thegir ka wiper ka. No, each and every one of you is a potential candidate to become addict. There is no way you can escape it. So just look back into yourself. Can I be having an addiction? Sir, just finished about uh, smartphone addiction, isn't it? Just look back. How long I have been using smartphone? Is there a chance I can be an addict? the one very easy way to uh, check whether you are on smartphone addict or not is the point you take your smartphone to your bathroom probably you are an addict okay some study says if you are using your smartphone for more than 2 hours your screen time is more than 2 hours probably you are an addict so just look back how many of you are using your smartphone for more than 2 hours continuously or how many of you are taking it to your bathroom that must be more isn't it so that's the first thing you are going to do you are going to introspect into yourself accept your problem so what are the common justifications we give to negate our guilt na enak na padikala nencha enak romba kutra nenchirukom illa na addict nu nencha enak romba kutra nenchirukom so what are ways we try to justify that you are not an addict so one is denial na onno andha alavukku la use panna maten epya dhaan phone use pannuven இல்ல நான் ஒன்னும் அடிக்கலாம் கிடையாது இல்ல என் பகுதியில் இருக்கவன் சும்மா எந்த நேரம் பாத்துக்கலாம் நான் ஒன்றும் பாக்குறது இல்லை ஸோ தட் இஸ் கால் டினைல் ஐ எம் நாட் லுக்கிங் பேக் இன் டு மை செல் ஐ எம் ஜஸ்ட் கம்பேரிங் அதர்ஸ் இஸ் இட் நெக்ஸ்ட் இஸ் மினிமலைசேஷன் ஐ ஹாவ் ஆல்ரெடி கட் டவுன் நான் முன்னாடியே நான் எப்போ நினைச்சாலும் குறைச்சிப்பேன் நானும் இப்பயும் முன்னாடியாவது கொஞ்சம் பார்த்துருந்தேன் இப்போ அதெல்லாம் பார்க்கறது இல்லை எங்கள் அப்பா சொன்னதுல இருந்து இல்லை இட்ஸ் ஜஸ்ட் ஐம் மினிமலைசிங் இட் கம்பேரிசன் ஐ ஆல்ரெடி டோல்ட் யூ அதர் திங்ஸ் ஆர் மோர் டேஞ்சரஸ் இல்லை குடிக்கிறது இதெல்லாம் விட ஃபோன் பார்க்குறது ஒன்றும் பெரிய பிரச்சனை கிடையாது இட் இன் பட் இட் இஸ் ஹேவிங் இம்ப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் இன் யர் லைஃப் இசன் இட் ஸோ ரா தன் இம்ப்ளிகேட்டிங் ஆன் அதர்ஸ் ஆர் அதர் ஈவெண்ட்ஸ் இட் இஸ் பெட்டர் யூ டேக் இட் ஆன் டு யுவர் செல்ஃப் யூ லுக் பேக் வெதர் யூ ஹாவ் அ ப்ராப்ளம் வித் ஸ்மார்ட் ஃபோன் யூ ஹாவ் அ ப்ராப்ளம் வித் சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் யூஸ் ஓகே ஸோ தட் இஸ் வாட் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஸோ மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் டைம் வி யூஸ் மல்டிபிள் ஜஸ்டிஃபிகேஷன்ஸ
one is denial minimization comparison defiance rationalization okay lesser of the two evil yes misinformation taking behavior out of con uh, context glorification yes that is a real threat isn't it what is this glorification how do we glorify using substance See, before 1960, it is only the villain who will be using substance, isn't it? Ketta manna kudichite cigarette pudichite adhmari erpa. After that, what happened? It is no longer the villain, isn't it? It is a who hero who smokes. Now we have come to a point where he will continuously smoke, he will drink, he will uh, tease the women, he will cheat others, and he is called the hero, isn't it? We have a paradigm shifting that. who is an hero and villain isn't it that is where we start glorifying these substance use so rather than glorifying it we will start accepting it okay so this is a chart where i am going to put down what my problems might be so do you think your substance use might cause any problems for you over the last 3 months so whenever we talk of this addiction problem most of the time what do we think of what is the problem what all problems can you have with addiction என்ன பிரச்சனை வரலாம் அடிக்ஷன்ல ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் அல்கோஹால் வாட் கேன் ஹேப்பன் வித் அல்கோஹால் சிரோசிஸ் பெரிஃபில் நியூரோபதி பேன்டிஸ் மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் டைம் என்எவர் யூ டாக் ஆஃப் காம்ப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் ஆர் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் வி ஒன்லி திங்க் ஆஃப் ஃபிசிக்கல் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் சி நெவர் திஸ் அடிக்ஷன் இஸ் கோயிங் டு ஹேவ் இம்ப்ளிகேஷன்ஸ் ஆன் ஒன்லி ஃபிசிக்கல் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் பிகாஸ் டு டெவலப் ஃபிசிக்கல் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் இட் வில் டேக் டென் டு ஃபிஃப்டீன் இயர்ஸ் for an alcoholic from the point of dependence to complication but before he develops physical complication there are a lot other complications what are other complications we can have we can have financial problems legal problems sexual problems marital problems inter uh, interpersonal problems occupational problems if this the problems with substance can permeate into all walks of your life it is not just physical problem at all most of the time we come to a psychiatrist or a doctor only when you start having physical problems but that will be too late then because we don't have any medicines to for cirrhosis what is the treatment for cirrhosis maybe you can go for liver transplant it will cost you around 1.5 lakhs uh, sorry 1.5 crores how many of you have 1.5 crores in your pocket no but we literally wait for the patients to die for them to develop physical complications but the problem here what we are talking is never physical it is any problem is uh, associated with it kudichi wife koda prachana nadakkudhu illa wife titra kudikiranal dhaan kudikiranal enak velai ku pogamulla kudikiranal enala padikamudilla everything is a problem it is never about physical problems okay so the first step is to look back into yourself and note down what the problems are and tell me what are the pros and cons what are the pros good things about taking substance or addiction or you will take smartphone addiction what is the good thing about it what is good about smartphone addiction adu enna nalla irukla padike use pannikalam phone illa vera games ke entertainment ke relax pandradhukku very good then you can gain knowledge i don't know but we are, really we do that or not that but that is what we convince our parents for illa நான் படிக்க ஃபோன் இல்லைன்னா என்னால் படிக்க முடியாது நோட்ஸ்லாம் அதில் தான் வருது இல்லை அது பத்து பர்சன்ட் யூஸ் பண்ணியிருப்பாங்கன்னு தெரியல பட் தட் இஸ் த ப்ரோஸ் பி டாக் அபவுட் இஸ் இட் வாட் ஆர் த கான்ஸ் ஆஃப் இட் வாட் ஆர் த அட் டிஸ்அட்வான்டேஜ் ஆஃப் இட் ஒன் இட் கேன் பி வெரி அடிக்டிவ் இஸ் இட் வாட் ஆர் யூ ஆர் ரீடிங் இன் த ஃபோன் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் யூ ஹவ் டு ரீட் யுவர் டெக்ஸ்ட் புக் ஒன்லி தென் யூ கேன் ப்ராட் அண்ட் யுவர் நாலேஜ் ஈவன் விதவுட் தேட் நாலேஜ் வாட் ஆர் வீ டு டெவலப் ஆன் இஸ் இன் இட் ஸோ we just convince ourselves to look into the phone rather than you really using it for studies or other things isn't it so you will put this 4 by 4 chart where one side you will tell me the pros and cons and other is about continuing my present substance use pattern or whether i should be reducing it na thodandu na pandrada pannanuma illa korekkanuma anga so this will give you a better idea about what are the advantages i am talking about and what are the disadvantages i might be having because most of the time we may not be knowing what the advantage it all we will be just going along isn't it for pokla povum abdingra mari isn't it so this will give you a better insight into your i told you 
the first thing you have to do is to introspect look back into yourself and this is one way of looking back this gives you all your rational like whatever i uh, i i told you denial all those things that will give you this will give you a better insight into how you are convincing really yourself into addiction okay and next step is to grade yourself just it, it is not to show anyone you just be a judge of your own self you think how addicted i am evlo addiction irukke enak evlo naali phone use pandren na 1 to 10 scale la evlo naali ke inda ennoda vaalkaiya baadhikudhu ennoda padipa baadhikudhu kanna baadhikudhu illa so how severe my addiction is that is the next step so first i am going to introspect next i am going to put in the pros and cons and next i am going to grade the severity and this is how i am going to know whether i am an addict or not whether i have problems with substance i need not be an addict we need not label you for that because addict per se is a very derogatory term isn't it so we will not call you so addict but a person with a problem okay so just think whether whatever addiction we have talked from morning whether that could be a problem for you and then rank your problems based on the substances you are using okay and this is a substance use diary the, so now we are going to monitor our own self okay uh, how frequently am i using like we'll take the smartphone you just know down like when where and with whom i am using it how frequently okay well, what am i using like am i uh, looking into uh, facebook uh, youtube shorts reels i have a lot to spend my time on isn't it games i think we now we have a lot of online gambling betting isn't it so where, what am i putting into all my resources and time how much of it like how much time am i spending and what is the money spent on it see with other substances with alcohol whatever you are whatever money you spend you can earn it back after some time but what are you spending in smartphone what really are you spending you are spending time which you can never regain isn't it so it is much worth worthier than other things isn't it your smartphone is taking off your lifetime every day you spend with your smartphone you are one day short of your lifetime that's a very costly price you are paying isn't it okay so what are the things that can increase your risk of becoming an addict one i already told you it's a inherited disease it's a genetic disease so if there is a family history of dependence then you are at a higher risk of developing addiction later on so if you have a family history it is better not to venture it is just like uh, testing whether a fire will hurt you or not yes it's going to hurt we can learn from others isn't it it is not that you have to test yourself to know it isn't it so if you have a family history you are at a higher risk of becoming an addict okay next be, uh, being on certain medications or having certain medical conditions already you are prone for certain things and it is like adding oil to fire isn't it so if you are taking substance along with that there can be a chance where this medical condition can be worsening okay uh, you weigh less than others people like it is like you are not taking care of yourself okay so your weight is less and there is a higher chance of becoming addicted is there any difference between male and female users male and female addicts or male and female uh, alcoholics we often talk of uh, equality and all those things isn't it is there any gender difference sex difference between male and female users yes there are see the body mass index of females are much lesser compared to males and they have a higher propensity to develop complications much faster than male it is called telescoping if a male is to de- develop a complication by 15 years the same complication can happen with a male uh, female within 5 to 10 day- years so male and female users are not the same and female user if she is using substance in a dependent pattern what can happen what can be other consequences see male it is going to end up with his generation but for the female if she drinks uh, takes alcohol in a dependent pattern and she stops if she do, uh, conceives uh, within 5 years after stopping alcohol there is a high chance she can uh, give birth to a fetal alcohol baby and most of the time this fetal alcohol child will have problems in iq 
so for the mistake a woman uh, lady has done the child has to suffer for the rest of the life okay so that's the consequence we are facing here okay so male and female users are not equal okay female users have more complication than male okay so next we are now we have uh, introspected we have known like we have analyzed ourselves whether i am an addict or not isn't it? i have uh, uh, charted out the pros and cons of it what the advantages and disadvantages now i am venturing into how to change that reasons for change my substance use why should i change what all reasons can be there to change so again it's about pros and cons isn't it so why should i cut down and what uh, should i stop taking the substance what all substances can be stopped all of a sudden what can't be stopped all of a sudden can you name any substance how about alcohol should it be stopped all of a sudden or slowly it can be tapered off it can be done only in one go you can't stop alcohol slowly because every time you reduce the dose there is a chance you can develop withdrawal whereas nicotine stopping nicotine suddenly is very difficult for most of them because it is more addictive than alcohol so nicotine has to be cut down it is the same thing with opioids cocaine all these things you have to do it very slowly because the withdrawal reaction associated with that is very severe whereas alcohol very well you can cut down any time you want you can stop alcohol any time but we have a lot of misconceptions isn't it we most of the time the justification we give for not stopping alcohol is diri nirthana vali pondrom diri nirthu kuda chethu veduvom we have a lot of misconceptions isn't it but that's not the uh, truth it is just a way of convincing myself like i should not be stopping all of a sudden it is called cherry picking i will collect reasons for not stopping illa phone ku adhe dhaan phone la yen phone paakama irukano illa illa adhula dhaan ella notes um varudhu enakku you know you can have a lot other resources apart from uh, your smartphone but you are just convincing your own self not to give up on the smartphone that's what the problem is okay so you will start jotting down points of how to cut down or whether to stop taking altogether stopping the substance okay choose your goal looking over what you have written which you do feel is the best goal for you whether to stop or to cut down you it is you who have to decide on what you are going to do it is not us self help is about your own control so look back into yourself decide what you are going to do and make a contract what is the contract is going to be if you are to for example you are planning to uh, cut down the substance for example you are taking one pack of cigarette per day okay one pack in india is around 10 cigarettes per day so what will be your contract what will be your uh, plan to cut down so you fix, uh, fix a quit date so probably from one month from now on i am going to stop taking nicotine okay and every third day i am going to cut down by one cigarette and i am definitely going to have a gap of at least three hours between one cigarette and other okay so this is a concrete plan of what i am going to do that is what this contract is so that you will stick on to the contract you will prepare yourself to cut down on the substance okay and list out your high risk behaviors what are these high risk behaviors for substance for alcohol nicotine what could be high risk situations most of the time why do we relapse what all reasons do we give in for relapse thirumba kudike poyiradhukku enna kaaranam la sollala anyone one can be like friends isn't it most of the time that is what we implicate on na onnu illa avanukku dhaan kudike kootu poiranga isn't it so a collection of friends can be one high risk situation where you can relapse thirumba kudike poiradhukana vaayppugal adhigama irukalam where in a situation irukalam what other situation where you can relapse stress isn't it most of the time we implicate on that illa tension ah irukna or dhamma adicha correct ah irukum illa we talk, uh, talk a lot isn't it for what all reasons can we drink alcohol what all movies uh, gives us these are the trigger points isn't it when you are experiencing an emotion such as frustration anger fear anxiety tension depression loneliness 
what are these uh, things these are basic emotions isn't it being sad happy but that is what our media shows us illa love failure na enna pannom sara kadikalam illa love success aichina sara kadikalam or ponnu kochittu poichina very good happy isn't it ponnu and ponnu enna paathu sirichiruchina very good yes we have a lot of reasons isn't it these are basic emotions but isn't it it happens day in and day out daily namak nadakudhu illa appana daily enna pannalam yes happy isn't it that is what this media tra- tries to push us into isn't it it gives us justification for using the substance continuously isn't it but that's not the reason isn't it and what are other things to cope with physical symptoms pain isn't it uh, most of us will say like konjam vayasa aichina illa yen sarakana thookam varala adanal dhaan sarak adikiren kudicha thoongiduven illa kaal valikku sarak adikiren odambu valikku sarak adikiren enik romba vela pannitan adanal sarak adikiren illa we give a lot of and these are the triggers okay then testing your ability to control this is very important thing isn't it most of the time what do we do namba oru oru maasam phone paakala nu vechukom edho palla kadichu phone paakama irukken what will be the next step yena control vandhucha test panni paapa illa oru naal yen kai la phone vechinu irukken enak endha alavukku control vandhuchu it is the same thing with alcohol i would have stopped taking alcohol for a week what will happen after the week na modalla friends kuda sarak adikka maten ana adikiravanga kuda summa ukkandittu vandruven i am testing myself how strong my control over the substances no that's not going to help you at all a lot of times you will be doing it and that is one of the high risk situation where you can relapse back illa i already told you you need not test whether the fire will hurt you or not we know it it hurt why to test that okay next is to cope with problems arising from argument is in last is pressure from others to use the substance so these are the high risk situations where you can relapse back okay so i told you like setting your target so this must be the target how many substance free days i am going to have how often i am i going to use how many times will i use in a day okay what is the maximum amount how much will i use in a week or month what are my high risk situations i will avoid how will i administer uh, the substance and how will i reduce the risk so these are the questions i am going to use when i am to frame my target okay i told the contract isn't it which all starts with i will so these are the points i am going to make the uh, contract with okay so next i will use the uh, guidelines like substance use guidelines what i have framed like how i am going to stop the drug how frequently i am going to reduce the substance those things that is about substance use guidelines next is about craving what is craving what is craving throughout my, from morning you would have been he- hearing this voice oh, uh, word isn't it craving what is that what does it word mean it's an inner sense of inner intense inner desire to take the substance okay most of the time for alcohol we'll take it is your craving will not be very intense for initial 10 to 15 days so a lot of them will stop alcohol for 10 to 15 days illa the sabri malai kala maala podum bodhu illa and the oru mandala na 48 naala and the 48 naala varum palla kadichu ukandirpom isn't it but uh, and the sami malai keri and the idumudi la eraki vechona enna agum and the sami eranganone innor sami malai eridum isn't it so that is craving and intense inner desire illa eppada kaadu onu ukandirpom the same thing will happen for all other substances phone ku amma oru maasam phone venaa nanga na palla kadichu and oru maasam endu oru maasam aana one gudu gudu odi pe phone vaangikum isn't it that is craving the thought the desire so how am i going to ta- tackle it one way of tackling the uh, craving is to delay it is called craving surfing surfing la paathirpinga la waves la you are isn't it so it is called craving surfing you are just going to delay the desire it is said if you can postpone a substance by half an hour one hour the intensity comes down by nearly half the craving comes down nearly by, uh, by half it is just like eating illa it's just like hunger isn't it so your hunger will be only for half an hour or one one hour if you can just pass through that one hour you will not feel hungry after that you will not even feel like eating after that isn't it it is the same thing with this substance 
so one way is to delay the substance use okay next is to distract how to distract yourself finding new hobbies doing certain things isn't it for alcoholics what is a better distraction because for now, for now these many days you would have never got engaged in a family reintegrating into the family that itself is a very strong distraction isn't it so uh, looking back into your plan like what you are going to do distract yourself like into reading or new hobbies try to do something physical going to gym that could be a way of distracting yourself so next d is to distract next is to uh, relax yourself uh, sir already told you about deep breathing exercise okay so whenever you are having intense craving you will manifest it as tension stress okay so try to relax yourself to de stress yourself okay next is to have a positive talk that talk to your own self na konja konjama vittuduven ennala panna mudiyum illa we would have seen a lot of uh, movies and all la kannadi paathu pesuradhu that is kind of a self talk that actually motivates you well if you can't say it to anyone talk to your own self that will help you okay so these are the ways you are going to tackle your craving and you are going to put in your craving in a diary so that you can have a feedback of what you are going to i th- see i had intense thought of drinking that day i tried all these methods i had thought like why not i try for some time okay i also had palpitation tremors at that point then i somehow talked with others and discussed with others and my craving came down so that is the behavior which worked for me so it is your responsibility to look into uh, the thing which will help you to cut down craving it is not a fixed thing like idu panna craving korenjidom no some will work for few and uh, for others it may not be working so it is up to you to decide what method works for you okay so uh, this is a few tips to help you to cope with the goal okay okay now we'll come to high risk situations so next is about what i am going to do with high risk situation i already we have already charted out what are the high risk situations be emotions frustrations isn't it um friends stresses though all these things could be high risk situation so how am i going to talk tackle it the most common is friends if someone is coming and calling you macha vaada kudikala ambe how how are you going to respond to that so most of the time what do we do yara kupta enna pannuvom macha nai ni padikano what will you say if you say that mood in pon enna pannuvom enak theriyum appdi irukum illa so if you say like i don't have money macha enkitta kaas illa what will be the next thing na vaangi tharen unakku illa so how am i going to deny that how am i going to say i i'm not ready to drink i am going to give up on that what should i do so the best thing to say deny a person going back to the substance is to say very stern no your statement should start with no illa and what is the next statement i am going to give, tell i am not going to give him any vague reasons i am going to say point blank that i am not going to drink na kudikala adha reason இதுக்கு வேற எந்த காரணம் சொன்னாலும் எனக்கு தலை வலிக்குது மாத்திரை போட்டு போய் குளிக்கலாம் குடிக்கலாம் இல்ல அம்மா திட்டுவாங்க தெரியாம பாத்துக்கலாம் ஃபார் எவ்ரி திங் வி லவ் அண்ட் கவுண்டர் ஆர்கியூமெண்ட் சோ இட் இஸ் பெட்டர் நாட் டு கிவ் இம் எனி வேக் ரீசன் ஃபார் நாட் ட்ரிங்கிங் ஆர் கோயிங் பேக் டு சப்ஸ்டன்ஸ் த பெஸ்ட் திங் இஸ் டு சே வெரி சாஃப்ட் ஸ்டர்ன் கிளியர் நோ that should be the answer for his question if he is posing that okay and these are the other tips that will help you keep going with your uh, or your reasons and wa- for wanting to stop alcohol so whatever you are thought of keep revising reinforce those thoughts see i have very strongly decided that to give up or cut down my substance and i am going to stick on to that okay regular ch- check on your substance use diary it that will give you a feedback see i thought i am going to cut down by half the substance this week 
but what have i achieved i can only cut down one cigarette this week maybe next week i will try to cut down more so that is the feedback you are going to get from your substance use diary okay distract yourself i already told you to engage in new things a very good kind of good distractions okay every time you resist an old habit you come a step closer to overcoming it yes you are going to motivate yourself that you will overcome this habit over a period of time it's not going to happen tomorrow but definitely over a period of time and what if you relapsed what if you failed na kudi kudadhu vechirundha ana edho oru vaarathile kudichiten oru naal how am i going to motivate myself see ups and downs are common in life isn't it once uh, failing once is not the end of life i still have more days to work on so i'll continue to work on that till i reach remission that means till i stop taking the substance okay okay aim to talk to your supporters every week like whomever the support system you have your friends your colleagues you keep talking with them so that they will motivate you to give up be kind to yourself even if you haven't done very well keep motivating you don't give, don't give up on your hope okay so these are the things for the person who is trying to help himself self help what are the things that should be given by a caregiver or a person who is supporting the uh, person who is trying to help himself what are the things so one is be supportive and accepting help them and support set dear boundaries like set a boundary to them like if they want some help go go forward and help them and one of the very important thing is listen more to their speech if someone is in distress someone is in addicted to a substance and he wants he is fighting back to stop that and he is telling you see i am fighting back don't try to give him advice try to listen to him okay listening is a virtue isn't it so whenever someone is trying to say you something try to listen okay so these are the few self help uh, tips both for the patient and as well as the caregivers okay and with this i think i would like to end the session oh, any doubts you have okay thank you thank you sir for sharing sharing your knowledge and for the inspiring speech we now request dr karthik sir associate professor to felicitate dr madan sir professor svmc Uh, the next session is the most awaited session of the day the prize distribution for the best entries in the competitive events will begin now we request dr madan sir professor dr avdeepan uh, sir professor and hod in charge dr vimal nadan sir assistant professor department of psychiatry to award the prizes to the winners uh, wait, wait. meanwhile we have posted this feedback link and uh, this is a link which you can uh, scan in your phone and you can provide us the feedback suppose if you are not able to uh, have a net coverage here you can take a snapshot and share it in your uh, college groups and you can provide the feedback there upon receiving the feedback your certificates will be distributed okay thank you the following are the winners for the poster art wait, competition wait. i'll announce it so we have received around 30 posters and uh, the best posters three posters have been selected based on the creativity and the content parts the we'll go in the order of third prize the third prize goes to uh, sandhya v of school of allied health sciences The second prize goes to Divya Dashni M from School of Allied Health Sciences.
The first place goes to Inbanadi D from KGNC. If uh, the person is not there, someone can collect on her behalf. For the photography contest, the third prize goes to Mr. Kesava Perumal. But uh, we are not very sure from which institute he has submitted. So, if anybody has an idea, no idea. Okay. The second place goes to Mr. Satya Siran from KGNC for the photography contest. The first place to photography contest goes to Ms. Mani Meghali from KGNC. For the short film category, the third place goes to Mr. Satyanathan from School of Pharmacy. Mm -hmm. The second place goes to Mr. Ragul from School of Allied Sciences. The first place for short film category goes to Mr. Satya Siran from KGNC. We request the professors to proceed towards the gallery. We now request Dr. Karthik, sir, Associate Professor, to deliver the vote of thanks. Students who have been uh, waiting for the buses to travel, they can start off because buses can be given. <laughs> Hostlers can sit. Uh, I think the hostlers can sit in the place. The those who are, I mean, uh, getting into the bus can leave. Those who are hostlers can sit actually. Yeah. So on behalf of the Department of Psychiatry, uh, we are doing the vote of thanks.
First and foremost, I'm grateful to our uh, Honorable Chancellor, Shri M.K. Rajagopalan, sir, for patronizing the event. And uh, on behalf of the department, we thank our Honorable VC, sir, Dr. Niharanjan Biswas, for motivating and supporting us. And we thank our Registrar, Professor Dr. A.R. Srinivasan, sir, for gracing the occasion and also delivering a keynote address on uh, addiction among youth and self-degences. I thank our Dean, Professor Sitej Ghosh, sir, Vice Principal of Student Affairs, Dr. Kanan Raja, sir, and Director of Hospitals, Dr. Nirmal Kumar, sir, for their valuable support in the conduct of the CME. Special thanks to the uh, Dr. S. Punita Josephine, Principal of KGNC, Dr. Uh, Aruna, Principal of IGIDS, Dr. A. N. Uma, ma'am, Principal of AHS, Dr. Sharmoon Anand, sir, Principal of School of Pharmacy, SBB, and their respective coordinators for uh, gathering the support and also sending their students for uh, the participation in this events. Without their support, I think this event would have been less successful. We also submit our uh, sincere thanks to all our eminent speakers, Dr. Arun sir, Dr. John Dinesh, sir, Dr. Arun Selvaraj, sir, and also Dr. Madan, sir, for gracing our this occasion and providing their illuminating lectures on addiction and the various concepts of uh, self-help and prevention and the even behavioral addictions. I thank our uh, HOD, um, Dr. Zerpakar, sir, for his moral support and wishes for conduct of this event. I thank our uh, HOD in charge, Dr. Avadipan, sir, for uh, providing his leadership and invaluable guidance. A special thanks to Dr. Vimal Nadane, Organizing Secretary, for his dedicated interest and execution of the conference proceedings and making it a grand success. We also thank our department faculty, Dr. Vigneshwar, for his invaluable inputs for uh, the support and also in the tech support. Thanks to Dr. Rivashri and Harshita for comparing this event. And uh, thanks to Dr. Surya, Dr. Sabresh, Dr. Abhiram, Dr. Kavin, and Dr. Navneet for taking care of the OPD and clinical services while we are busy in this AC hall. I thank all the interns of our department uh, who were consistently involved and provided their helping hands throughout the process from registration to decoration to our end of the session. Thanks to Icon Pharma for providing their support to event publicity and hosting the speakers. Sincere thanks to the technical team, IT team, housekeeping staff for giving us a neat venue. And uh, my heartfelt thanks to all the participants who have just left and also over there here and uh, for gracing the event by attending. And also, I think most of you would have got the benefit of this academic extravaganza. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We now request everyone to stand up for the national anthem. जनगणमन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे Yeah, thank you. You can leave.